of the Pirate Nation. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth skin texture, erase veins and brown spots, and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Contact the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medispa on Red Banks Road in Greenville. Free consultations available. Visit us at beautybarmedispa.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Enjoy your visit. Love your transformation. Go Pirates! The Beach Tavern Bar & Grill has been the place to be for over 50 years. BT's is the best local sports bar in the heart of Atlantic Beach. Located on West Fort Macon Road across from Pacific, BT's has daily food specials, a late night menu, cold beer, pool, darts, and live entertainment for everyone to enjoy. Make it a summer to remember at the Beach Tavern Bar & Grill. Follow BT's on Facebook and Instagram for all the daily specials and events. BT's, the place for fun in Atlantic Beach this summer. Serving those who serve is a lifelong mission, one that Budweiser supports with Folds of Honor. Together, they've been helping military families for over 13 years by funding life-changing scholarships. So join me in raising a Budweiser to raise funds for families for American heroes. Grab a case of Budweiser today at your favorite local retailer, proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing, supporting our military veterans and the Pirate Nation since 1989. Enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2023, Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, Lager Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. It's the best idea ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla, that was my idea. My idea. Doritos and pizza. I did that. Another one. Hey, Pirate fans, Papa John's is the MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at PapaJohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Scott Harris with REMAX Preferred Realty. I've been in Greenville over 25 years. I'm a proud graduate of ECU. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, then give me a call today and let me help make your real estate process fun and easy. I keep it simple and explain the process every step of the way. My goals are your goals. There are no long-term contracts, and you always deal with me from start to finish. The right home starts with the right agent. Call me, Scott Harris, at 347-1857. Go Pirates! You've worked hard to make your business successful, and that's why it's really important to always have a bank in your corner when you need them. This is former ECU baseball player Ashley Capps from First Bank, and our experienced team of local bankers includes Lee Watson, Bonner Latham, Chris Richards, Josh Hooten, and Heath Nisbet. To get the business services that are right for your business today, come and see someone on our team at First Bank on Arlington Boulevard here in Greenville. First Bank, together with our customers, we're creating a world where individuals and communities thrive. Member FDIC equal housing lender if you missed pirate radio live you missed jeff connors ivory ladder was followed by a lot of rappers and uh, i walked in the locker room at at unc one night and there was cat williams i was recognizing him i thought but i was like wait a second there's only one guy that looks like this cat (laughs) and that's cat williams like yeah man what's up so uh i said okay cat you know But I I was shocked. (laughs) Yeah. But uh, that's the kind of following she had. Pirate Radio Live, weekdays from 3 to 6, right here on Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Welcome to Pirate Radio Live. Ty? Hi. Ty? Clip. Hey, man, good to see you, brother. He's a cool cat, man. The superstitious bears! The, the superstitious bears! I got a little taco meat on my chest. But I grabbed a handful of lunch meat and shoved it down my teammate's throat. <laughs> I'm a former long snapper. Booty, 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 booty everywhere! At the Burlington... Uh, <laughs> No idea what the f- just happened. Did not flub at all. F- it send it in. Now live from the Pirate Radio Studios in the heart of the Pirate Nation. Here is your host, Clip Brock. Welcome in to Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Clip Brock here with you inside the Pirate Radio Studios and coming to you today on Pirate Radio ninety two point seven FM in Greenville. 104.1 in Washington. You can find us on 1250, 930, also online, PR927FM.com. And watch the show on Facebook Live and YouTube. 
give us a like give us a subscribe and be a part of the family here at pirate radio and uh, we got some great guests to get to on today's show some good topics to hit but we want to hear from you as well what is on your mind on this thursday as we head into a uh, pretty good sports weekend you have the u.s open you've got the college world series uh, some mlb uh, no hockey no hoops but it, we're gonna go ahead and officially call it football preview season because we are kicking off our opponent previews today We'll start talking. Uh, we'll have some weekly fantasy football chats, I believe, starting next week. So uh, we're going to dive into our summer football preview mode, starting today with Aaron McMahon. He is the beat writer at MLive.com and Ann Arbor News. He will tell us all about this big, bad Michigan team that the Pirates will be facing to kick off the 2023 season in the big house. Aaron McMahon joins us about 20, 25 minutes from now to talk about the week one opponent. Steve Cotton, longtime play-by-play voice of the Marshall Thundering Herd, is lined up for next week. And uh, then we'll knock out App State, Gardner-Webb, and uh, go throughout the entire schedule. If you are new to Pirate Radio, we've been doing this uh, four years. That was one of my early duties when Troy was hosting Live at Five and I was producing. I had to line up all the guests for the football previews and we're going to keep that rolling here on Pirate Radio Live for 2023 and get to know every opponent. Starting with Michigan today uh, with Aaron McMahon. Jeff Nadeau has not been around in a while. He's had a lot of uh, life changes since we've talked to him. No longer at Barstool Sports. Earlier this week, he was on uh, a show with Coach JB from Last Chance U. He's a lightning rod. And they were talking to Baby Gronk's dad. What a life. What a world we live in. Where that sentence I just said is something that actually happened. Uh, But anyway, the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau, will join us coming up at around 4 o'clock. We'll talk a little pirate football, get his early thoughts on ECU. We'll uh, preview the ACC. There is a new odds-on favorite to win the ACC this year, not named Clemson. So we'll discuss that, talk about some win totals, and NBA draft coming up next week. I'll ask him who the Hornets should take at number two, Scoot or the uh, Alabama. Brandon, Brandon Miller is his name. Thank you, Joey for throwing up the M uh, for Miller. Jeff Nadeau will join us coming up at 4 o'clock. We'll play Name That Sound coming up at 4.30, hosted by Shirley Rhodes. Shirley, have you notified people on uh, what's going on today on Name That Sound? Welcome to the show, by the way. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, No, I haven't quite notified them. Would you like to do it now? Yeah, sure. All right, so... Uh, name that sound me versus chandler every thursday and mm-hmm. just uh and we're gonna do that again today right no we're gonna change it up a little bit so uh clip you are gonna take the week off okay joey you're in oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're okay. and you're gonna go head to head with chandler well, oh, how gosh. about that all right so chandler so make sure you're back <laughs> chandler is historically awful at this game but has won a couple of uh you won an all-star appearance against shirley mm-hmm. and did you win another or is that it there was another one i, won. I feel like you won another one yeah that you yeah, haven't beaten west. me oh uh, you beat west. west that's right yeah, he beat west so chandler's really good against everybody but me and brandon manning <laughs> uh so joey no pressure but um this was shirley's idea and um i ran through the sounds earlier I think there's a couple that might be before your time that are tough but overall i think it should be a pretty even game i think you put together a pretty good game yeah i think so i i, I do have to keep it to where it's not going to be as easy you know because then because if it's easy it's not fun um i was going to put connor and joey head to head but connor's not here so uh, we might do that. Yeah. Well, no, we can't do that next week. You guys, we can do that next week if you want, because I won't be here. But um, 
we'll we'll see All we'll right. see about that jamie says come on chandler you've already got people chandler is like the uh he's the cubs he's the low he, boy yeah loser. oh yeah he's absolutely the, the chicago cubs favorite. of this game tyler has a stipulation you know we can do this like wrestling uh he says winner keeps a job loser leave town match what do you Whoa. think oh, no, <laughs> no don't down. tell chandler that he'll go find a bachelorette party or a bachelor party I'll to go to perfect. <laughs> yeah, he'll lose on purpose. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, just pay tuition today. My pockets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> all the money we're paying Joey, uh, boy, that could all go away at the snap of a finger. Your life could change. All right, so a big battle between teacher and student, Chandler, boss and employee, Chandler Honeycutt versus intern Joey coming up at 4 30 five o'clock the cran man marcus crandall still out of town but we banked a lot of awesome interviews and we got one of those coming your way today with ecu hall of famer lester lyons whose records a lot of his records still stand at ecu from his playing days and we'll talk about this with lester but hard to believe hard to say but it is reality he was on the last team for ecu to make the ncaa tournament and you got to go back a long long time uh for that 30 years so uh 30 plus years at this point so uh lester lines will join us to talk about his playing days uh basketball today and more so looking forward to that coming up in hour number three of today's show also uh whatever else is on your mind on this thursday we'll get to as well all right looking at the I don't know any uh what's the big sports news of today we are in a time where there's not going to be a lot going on u.s open i can tell you that ricky fowler is on top of our buccaneer music hall leaderboard at the u.s open they're playing out in california so you're going to have some uh some later golf in fact i think the last uh tee times for today round one are not until like late in the five o'clock hour eastern so you're gonna have some late golf here these next four days um i've lost some interest because harold varner the third is not participating in the u.s open i was telling joey before the show i need to drive to virginia and put a put something on a golfer just to back somebody Joey says uh, uh, Brooks Kepka will not win. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in the sauce right now. I think he's he is undoubtedly good in high major competitions. I, that's all he does. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, this just won't be his. This won't be his. Cup. All right. Well, who will win? It's easy to say who won't win. Yeah, it is easy to. A lot easier to say <laughs> who mean, won't win. Yeah, you got um, some pretty good odds. You're going to be right on that. I really got to look down at the list. Again. All right, pick me a winner. I got you, Chandler. Who you got? Pick, somebody pick me a winner. Who's going to win this thing? Xander Shoffley, one shot off the lead in the first round of the U.S. Open. I uh, got some Dave. Thank ba- you for pronouncing that because I was looking at it. I was like, how do you pronounce that? I was like, I know how it's pronounced. It's pronounced differently than how it's spelled. Shoffley. Because I was looking Shoffley. Shafarvel. Shafafla. The O's uh, have taken the lead over the Blue Jays. They are playing in the seventh inning right now. It is Baltimore three and Toronto two. And they go ahead on uh, Santander single into right field. Anthony Santander. So Orioles trying to win their series against the Blue Jays have a three to two lead on the Buccaneer Music Hall School Board presented by Dub Buck. Dub Buck. Um, Brandon says on YouTube, the biggest football news to me the last night was the rivalry coming back between Texas and Texas A&M. I did see a lot of bottom line stuff last night. Just uh, we had, you know, games on at AJ's. By the way, we'll talk about that in a moment. But saw they were spitting out um, like 2024 SEC football schedules. Um, I saw Alabama and Georgia are going to play in the regular season and i believe i read it was like the fifth time in the last 20 years or something they're going to meet in the regular season that's wrong i know the the way the divisions are separated and you've got i guess games you play every year but um yeah they're going to have to factor in the new teams with oklahoma and texas and I, i did see that that made news that's crazy that the biggest news in football was who's playing SEC games in two or three years from now. Who do you think starts for Texas? Quinn or uh, Archie? Uh, Quinn, right? I think so. Yeah. But Archie is getting a bag. 
so yeah well so was quinn right i mean he had a huge he he went to where ohio state yeah i think he went to ohio state collected a check and said yeah i'm see us right so yeah i mean everybody's getting paid up there um didn't wasn't it uh manning came out and said that so his father is cooper right it, it was it cooper that said he was not going to get an nil deal or he didn't want him to before he actually did something on the field was that just talk yeah like they're probably yeah paying him a lot of money to go play football there what a what a uh, what a problem they have because that quinn dude was like the number one guy left high school early to go to ohio state right and then they they land a manning as well still fascinating that he chose texas and not a SEC. Well, he did choose a SEC school, not a traditional SEC school. No Ole Miss, no Tennessee. I kind of want him to go to a different SEC school because you had, you know, Archie and Eli at Ole Miss, uh, Peyton at Tennessee. Maybe he goes to like Florida or I don't know a different SEC school. Different environment for sure. Uh, we will talk Michigan football in a moment, and in that we'll we'll talk about the new Big Ten and the wacky world of usc and rutgers being conference opponents maryland and ucla being conference opponents that is coming up soon uh with the ever-changing landscape of college football and conferences and and everything that that goes with that that is kind of annoying but (laughs) the games are still fun and it's going to be fun pike is hanging out on facebook and uh, gave us a like we appreciate that give us a like and a sub and uh, let us know what's on your football mind on this Thursday. I'm getting fired up. We did a um, countdown earlier this week, but it's time to start. And uh, Joey, I think I heard, overheard you. I, so I'm I'm in two. I've narrowed it down to two fantasy football leagues. I used to just get way out of control. Likewise. Can't do it anymore. And I'm the commissioner in one of those leagues. And in that league it's there's a lot of keepers there's a salary cap we do a slow draft you do any slow drafts we bet we do it all through text starting in august and we just make our picks as we go well this year this is i'm a commissioner of a league as well and this year me and my buddies are going to meet at uh me casitas back in fayetteville all right Uh, i like that my other league is a a live draft so we'll do a live draft probably bring the phones I don't know if anybody's bringing a lap- laptop to the dinner, but uh, yeah, bring the phones out and draft. Have some, have some drinks. Always fun. I've been in uh, the same league since '99, and I, I was co-champion last year for the first time ever. I'd never won the league. Wow. It was very embarrassing, and I was co-champion because the championship was the night of the Demar Hamlin injury, and I had Burrow. I had a couple guys. He had a couple guys. We were basically tied. So like it, uh, we ended up being co-champions because that game never finished. But nice. I'll take it, right? I mean, <laughs> exactly. I've never tasted that sweet gold, so <laughs> I'll I'll take a piece of it. Speaking of which, um, massive championship parade in Denver today. Quite a scene. Yeah. Jokic actually looked like he enjoyed his job for once. Yeah, and and on that, like, I kind of get where he's coming from. Like, what if you? I don't know. What if you? worked at uh pirate radio in another country and you uh won producer of the year and you're excited but you're like you're ready to get back home you're ready to get back to fayetteville yeah, get absolutely. back to eastern north carolina like i get where he's coming from um and hopefully nobody looked at that like he didn't care or doesn't love basketball or his teammates or whatever he, just, he wants to go home yeah exactly and uh, you can't not actually care about the sport and win a championship you know? right it doesn't yeah. come that easy uh let's see tyler says will joey do the little nitro gummy challenge with chandler if the subscriber number gets hits what are you willing to do for uh content joey for content let's see um you know as long as it's not life altering (laughs) (laughs) all right that's what we like to hear then i'm pretty pretty game anything short of death or life altering he is in uh jamie says he's finished second or third six times never won fantasy lost every way possible Mm. there's a lot of luck involved there is we always feel good in fact my favorite part of fantasy football is july and august 
pre- talking about drafts. Oh yeah. Like projecting the actual draft itself is my favorite part of fantasy football. Yeah. After that, it's uh it's all frustrating. Guys get hurt. But like in August, everybody's healthy. Yeah. Your roster looks amazing. Your starting lineup is just the way you assembled assembled it and and you're like, uh, I can't be stopped. And then week one David Johnson goes down with an injury, and my whole plan is foiled. Mm. So that is uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Cass says I'm ready to talk fantasy, I, as am I. Ready to talk real NFL too. Uh, need to bring back our our fan segments. Maybe we'll start that uh, tomorrow when Tony Dunn joins us in hour number four or hour number two at four o'clock on Friday. Um, Chandler, was that the biggest crowd you've ever seen at sports trivia last night? Seven teams, and almost each team had at least four or five people on it. I mean, a couple of teams had like 15 people on it. it yeah, was... I mean, I remember actually kind of sitting there and realizing, well, wait a second, let me just count up how many teams we have tonight. And I counted, and there were seven teams. That, that trivia room there in A.J. McMurphy's was filled, and it was a really good game. By the way, for the third straight week, 100%, which is the team that I'm on, comes in first place y'all won by one point and there was a three-way tie for second it yep. was a great game uh went down to the wire last night uh but man it was packed out and it was a lot of fun so uh, you're looking for something to do this summer wednesday nights eight o'clock aj's uh p mace patrick mason said he might be making an appearance coming up next week so uh looking forward to more trivia Cass said my favorite time of the year uh, I think August is one of the most underrated sports months of the year. Just think about it. Your the ECU Pirates are undefeated. Optimism. Mason Garcia is going to be the next. Crandall, Gerard, Blake, Carden, Ailers, um, Javius Bond, AAC Freshman of the Year, Rajay Harris. Don't call it a comeback. Uh, you've got optimism for everything august is awesome you, you've got your fantasy drafts your nfl team has not completely tanked yet <laughs> we wait till late september for that to happen but man august uh august is great i, I love the the lead up to football season all the previews we're going to be doing uh the interviews fall camp we'll have we'll be out there at ecu practice so that is fantastic july kind of tough to get through july is when we really start to say july and early august especially nfl you don't want any news from your team that is injury and arrest season absolutely like nothing good uh, you're gonna get excited the rest when, for the panthers especially last off season yeah i mean you're gonna get excited when bryce young throws a, a tight spiral to dj chark or whatever yeah but really it doesn't mean anything no it doesn't like only bad stuff can happen in those uh in training camp there's always the little hot the headlines of like you know a player talking good about a rookie or something like that. oh yeah that yeah. fires you up a little bit yeah but you know it's not real yeah i mean that you every team is gonna say that if find somebody that says you know this rookie we drafted stinks man yeah. how did we this guy's a phony why do we take this guy? Everybody's going to be looking good. Everybody's going to be feeling good. It's all about staying out of trouble. And every year, you have a big-time player who goes down with an ACL or something that first few days of training camp, like a, a yeah. superstar. The injury bug is bound to hit because it hasn't hit anybody thus far. No, nah, it'll it'll happen in, uh, in July and early August once preseason begins randolph says what's up fellas good to see all at aj's last night yes sir randolph always good to see you uh chandler had to step away for a moment eric said chandler would you trade all of your aj sports trivia wins for one legitimate name that sound win (laughs) (laughs) could happen today against intern joey we'll see chad says uh we are having pasta before and after every game it's a me a mason garcia that is a fifth quarter reference, and uh, we're, we'll play some uh, classic fifth quarter clips on tomorrow's show. We did that last Friday. It was a lot of fun, so I'll have some ready to go uh, for tomorrow. 
um oh i do have an answer from chandler he said no he would not trade those wins so there you go there's your answer all right let's take a break when we return we will kick off our opponent previews aaron mcmahon michigan beat writer will join us to talk about the wolverines Pirates and Michigan will go at it to kick off the 2023 football season in the big house. We'll preview the Michigan Wolverines when we return. Pirate Radio Live back with you after this. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates. And then it was true, <laughs> We're here for the booty. RJ? Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. <laughs> We're going play game! Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. You gotta love the juice at Jersey Mike's. That zing of real red wine vinegar and olive oil blend is even better than the zing of a first kiss. No offense to Brenda DeMarche. It was a fine first smooch for me behind the bleachers. But there's nothing like when that zing of the juice hits your lips for the very first time. Years later, Brenda and I shared a Jersey Mike sub with extra juice. We had a better time because neither of us had braces. Add a flavor zing with the juice. Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Hey, Pirate fans, it's Russell with Russell's Clothing in downtown Washington. In case you didn't know, Father's Day is next weekend, and we want to be your source to put that smile on your dad's face. We're a full-service men and women's clothing store dedicated to customer service. We have beautiful sports shirts and polos from Peter Millar, Johnny O, Owner Reserve, and Jen Teal. From a small to a double XL, we've got a beautiful collection of swimsuits by a new line called Michaels. Guy does his own artwork. They are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. We sell a lot of duck head, pants, shorts, polos, and button downs. Rhonda's running a little special. Buy any three pieces of duck head and get a free duck head t-shirt or hat with purchase. If you can't make a decision, any dad would be happy with a Russell's gift certificate. Remember, it's all about you, our pirate friends and customers. Come and see us. The gift wrap is free and beautiful at Russell's in historic downtown Washington. I'm Michael Vaughn with East Coast Grading and Utilities. Many of you know my dad, David Vaughn, and his work in putting in subdivisions all over Pirate Nation. But East Coast Grading and Utilities is not just for those type of big jobs. We're here for the homeowners, whether it's concrete, driveways, hauling rock or sand, whatever you need, East Coast Grading and Utilities can get the job done. Call us at 252-531-7494 or check us out on Facebook at East Coast Grading and Utilities. The Rick House has a delicious new lunch menu. It's Chef K's Country Luncheon featuring the very best in country cooking Monday through Friday from 11 to 1. Plates are just $12.50 for hamburger steak with gravy, meatloaf, baked chicken, smoked ribs, brisket, and more. Our country sides include mac and cheese, collards, corn on the cob, mashed potatoes, southern greens, and much more. Plates are just $12.50. It's Chef K's Country Luncheon weekdays from 11 to 1 at the Rick House, 710 Red Banks Road in Greenville. Come get you some. You've had your new computer a few years now, but lately it's been running super slow, acting strange, and you're worried about viruses and losing data. This is driving me mad! Let the experts at University PC Care in Greenville and Newburn professionally diagnose your Mac or PC to see what's really going on. They'll determine the root cause and not just symptoms, so you don't waste money fixing the wrong issues. Call 252-558-1280 for in-store or remote service, or make an appointment online at universitypccare.com. This is former ECU football player Bryce Williams and you're listening to Pirate Radio the voice of the Pirate Nation Mm. 
You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Grab your amigos and head to Chico's for the best Mexican food and fun in Greenville. Come and enjoy favorites like shrimp tacos, steak and chicken fajitas, burritos, enchiladas, ACP, and more. Follow Chico's on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. For Mexican food and fun, it's got to be Chico's for dine-in or to-go. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live on a Thursday. Time to dive in to our football previews. Jerry on YouTube, real quick, says that's familiar. Familiar, by the way, pizza of the week this week is bacon and onion. You get a large for twelve dollars. It'll feed a family. And uh, thinking about making that move either tonight or tomorrow night. So I'll be uh, driving by Familia on Fire Tower Road at some point in the next two evenings. So the Wolverines of Michigan are being looked at as a championship contender this year they have what i'm reading right now uh bet mgm the fourth highest odds to win the national championship behind georgia alabama ohio state uh so they are right up there their over under win total for 2023 is 10 and a half so if you take the over uh you need 11 wins 11 or 12 wins and you know they they play ohio state obviously to end the season they got the big 10 schedule but you know the experts are saying this is a team that's going to go likely 11 and 1 at worst uh 10 and 2 at the worst so if you do bet the over on michigan uh you are counting week one as a win uh you got to have that one against ecu ecu could really spoil the party uh, coming up to start the 2023 college football season. Let's find out uh, what makes these Wolverines so good and head out to the Pirate Radio Live line and talk to Aaron McMahon from InLive.com and also the Ann Arbor News. He joins us here today on Pirate Radio Live. Aaron, appreciate your time. How you doing today? I'm well. Afternoon. Uh, good to be with you. Yes, sir. And, uh, man, it it is preview season, at least for us here at Pirate Radio. We're going to go through all the football opponents. We got the longtime voice of Marshall, Steve Cotton, joining us next week on the show. And we'll kick it all off today with Aaron McMahon from Ann Arbor News M Live and talk about those Michigan Wolverines Pirates going to the big house uh, week one to take on Michigan. And first of all, uh, Aaron, uh, the the excitement level around this team in Ann Arbor, I mean, this is... Is uh, one of those that it sounds like almost championship or bust heading into 2023. Is that is that kind of the expectation there for the the fans there in Michigan? Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, I've been covering this team now since 2017, and I can't think of a season where expectations were were any higher. Um, they, they've been high before. They've been picked to win the Big Ten championship before, but now this team's coming off you know back to back Big Ten titles, back to back playoff appearances. I think there's this feeling that they probably should have won their semifinal uh, game against TCU back in back in January or end of December, and, and it didn't happen. So I, I think they're out for blood. I mean, they got a lot of returning guys, a lot of talent on this team, and expectations are just that. I mean, Jim Harbaugh said uh, a month or so ago that you know he hasn't had a better uh, Michigan football team coming out of spring that he has this year. So I, I think everything is in the right spot for them. I, I think the trajectory is up. Expectations are super high. And now they've got to they've got to kind of um, you know uh, bit, uh, you know deliver on those. Aaron McMahon joining us on the Pirate Radio Live Line. We'll talk Michigan football and then get to know some of their their personnel, some X's and O's, things like that. But kind of big picture with Jim Harbaugh, Aaron, from the outside, we hear this about every coach, and we we talk about people losing their jobs as if it's nothing here in the sports world. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, but we've heard about. Harbaugh in the hot seat, or Harbaugh maybe exploring NFL options, or things like that. You're right there in the middle of it all. You know how real has that been over the years on both sides of it? Uh, on on the side of maybe Michigan uh, cuts bait with Harbaugh and goes a different direction, or Harbaugh uh, jumps to the NFL, goes to another school, something like that. You know, how, has there been any real fire with the smoke over the years with any of that? 
Yeah, I mean, you could definitely cut it both ways, right? Like, I, I can remember early 2018 when Michigan brought on Shea Patterson, a quarterback, and, you know, there's talk of going to play for a national championship then, you know, and they, they kind of bottomed out at one point. And then, and then after the 2020 season, when Michigan, Michigan goes two and four during the COVID year, there, Jim Harbaugh, quite frankly, was on the hot seat. There were a lot of folks here in Ann Arbor that I, I think were growing tired of them. Um, I, I think that he had won a lot of games, they had a lot of success, but they hadn't done what I think everyone wanted him to do, and that was to win a conference championship and, and take Michigan to kind of that upper echelon pinnacle of college football. He hadn't got it done. So I think his back was against the wall going into 2021, quite frankly. You know, he, he overhauled his coaching staff, brought on a new defensive coordinator, um, kind of took reins of the offense a little bit more and kind of molded it more in his vision of what he, his style of play, of like what he's comfortable doing. And, and that's kind of changed things. I mean, he's brought on over Michigan players to help, you know, coach. Uh, they've kind of gotten back to the, the you know, the, the peak Jim Harbaugh at Stanford and maybe with the 49ers in the NFL where, you know, they like to run the football. And that's kind of been their offensive identity the last couple of years. So, yeah, I mean, between all that, uh, he has, you know, interviewed with NFL teams now the last couple of off seasons. I think things are probably a little bit more serious two years ago than they were this past year. Nonetheless, I mean, Jim has been pretty open and honest about it all. You know, he said, yeah, there's still a desire to get back to the NFL. Um, you know, he's had a lot of success now you're in college. I, I think there's that burning, um, you know, desire in him to, to potentially to win a Super Bowl. He's gotten to the pinnacle there. He wasn't able to win it. Um, and I think he sees his brother having success. And, and you know, um, given the complications of college nowadays with the transfer portal and NIL and everything else, um, I, I think you're seeing a lot of college coaches Look at the NFL as, as a way to get out. You know, yeah. can get there. Now, I, I don't know if that's the case now with Jim. It's been two years now, and he hasn't gotten a job, so I don't know what the future looks like. Um, but I, I can say this: he's as happy, and I, I think I, I've seen him. He's been as, he's as optimistic as he's been since he's gotten to Michigan. Aaron McMahon joining us on the Pirate Radio Live Line. Aaron from M Live and Ann Arbor News, and he is the beat writer for the Michigan Wolverines. And uh, one thing you, you can do to get the fan base behind you, Aaron, is uh, is beat the rival Ohio State, right? And and after all those losses in a row, to beat them back to back years and to beat them the way the Wolverines did, um, that has to have Harbaugh with a hundred percent approval or hitting from Michigan fans with the the two wins over Ohio State these last two seasons. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even in the good years where they, you know, they were winning nine and ten games, that was kind of their Achilles' heel. I mean, they couldn't beat the rival Ohio State, they couldn't beat the in-state rival Michigan State, and they've been able to kind of change that the last couple of years. Um, you know, I, I think the fans more more than anything wanted Michigan obviously beat Ohio State, uh, and they figure out a way to do it. You know, you can make the case that maybe Ohio State had the more talented team the last couple of years. That Michigan had the better game plan, they had the better execution, they had the better coaching staff, and I think the better team you know, unit. And, and I think that was the difference. Um, they, you know, I, I said this countless times now, but Ohio State kind of went to that spread offense. They, we all know the, the great receivers they have. They've had some excellent quarterbacks there, um, and Michigan's been able to find a way to slow them down and kind of do something, keep, get them uncomfortable. And that's kind of been their their mo the last couple of years. It's worked. Um, some folks wondered after 2021 if that was maybe just a, a one-off when Michigan beat them in the big house. And they, and they proved, you know, last, last November in, in Columbus that it wasn't. Um, they, they beat them on both sides of the ball, the line of scrimmage. They were, you know, their, their running game was fantastic. Even when they were missing, you know, all American running back and Blake Corum. So it certainly changed things. You've got, you went from Jim Harwell being in the hot seat because of his inability to beat Ohio State and thus get to the, the Big Ten championship the pressure not being on Ryan Day in Columbus. Talking to Aaron McMahon, Michigan, uh, first up for the Pirates this year to kick off the 2023 season. It'll be uh, in the big house. It'll be noon, and it'll be on Peacock, Aaron. Uh, what'd you think of uh, when you saw that news come out a couple weeks ago that this game would be played on Peacock? Yeah, you know, we knew as part of the Big Ten's new TV deal, it's I think a seven-year, $7 billion deal, <laughs> that Peacock was involved. Um, we didn't know what to, to what degree, how many games were going to be on it. Um, you, you had a feeling some of the big-name brands would be on there, so NBC could drive subscriptions yeah. and everything else. But in a way, it makes sense. I know there's some fans here in Ann Arbor, especially the older fans that aren't maybe familiar with the whole streaming environment, obviously not happy um, because the game certainly will sell out and it's going to be a hot ticket no matter what. So, um, not a surprise. You know, Michigan's obviously one of the Big Ten's biggest brands. Uh, you know, I'm sure they want to get them on there. 
Um, you know, it, it, it's it's not surprising. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how things shake out in fall there. Yeah, and Aaron, if, if every Pirate fan is actually going to the game that has said they're going to the game, uh, we're going to have a lot of purple and gold uh, in the big house that day because people uh, have been planning on this one for a while, not only to, to go see the Pirates play, which ECU has a, a pretty good traveling fan base, um, but also to play in a historic stadium and to face a team that has championship uh you know, expectations this year. So um, I, I do think you'll see a, a little bit of purple and gold amongst the, the maize and blue there in September. Yeah, I mean, typically road teams, they'll bring a decent crowd. So I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. think there's a lot of respect here for a program like East Carolina. Uh, you know, the, M- Michigan isn't a program that tends to look down on those teams. I mean, they're going to prepare. They're going to be ready to go. And, and it, should be a, it should be a fun atmosphere, uh, you know, September, early September. Yeah, and Aaron, I don't know how much you have, have dove into East Carolina yet or if at all. Uh, as From our perspective, uh, I think – Everybody will tell you they'd rather have played this game last year uh, because East Carolina did lose about, uh, and I haven't crunched the exact numbers, but I'm putting it at around like 97% of their offensive production with Holt Nailers, who's uh, working out with the Seahawks right now, two 1,000-yard receivers. you got Keaton Mitchell uh, working out with the Ravens. So you've got just a, a ton of new guys on offense. really makes us nervous. It explains a little bit the 36-point the line that we're seeing out there. Michigan favored by that much. And we're talking about you coming on the show earlier this week and I say you know my first question for Aaron is going to be is there any kind of weakness uh, East Carolina can exploit on this Michigan team this powerhouse team so how, how about that one Aaron if there is one one thing that maybe Jim Harbaugh or fans are concerned about about this team uh, what is it if there is one yeah there, there are probably maybe two question marks with this team they're, they're, they're relatively deep in almost every position they got talent, a lot of returning starters pretty much everywhere. However, you know, the passing game will be a question. Um, you know, everyone likes to talk about J.J. McCarthy, the starting quarterback. He's great. problem is Michigan doesn't have a ton of weapons for him. They haven't really had that the last couple of years, those, those, those all Big Ten, all American caliber receivers. They just don't have them. Um, they do have a returning receiver in Cornelius Johnson, who will be their number one. He had a very good game uh, last year against Ohio State. He was um, you know, he was big in certain moments, but he wasn't consistent, didn't put together on a week to week basis. Um, so that I think the lack of depth in the run game is, is probably an area where, you know, in a way, opponents can shut Michigan down. If you can force them to run the football and make them one dimensional, I think is your best chance. Now, I'm, I'm not going to, that's not to say East Carolina can stop them. That's a different story on the ground. But I, I do think Michigan's passing game um, isn't as, as explosive as maybe one may think of from the outside. Uh, and then defensively, the one question mark is that quarterback. Um, they've got one starter returning, Will Johnson. He was a, he was all Big Ten as, as a freshman last year. He's going to be good. He's, he's great. But they don't know who the other starter is going to be on the opposite side of the ball. They've got a lot of guys that are um, uh, inexperienced. A lot of guys, that they, in fact, they had to move over a receiver to cornerback this spring to kind of, and they think he's going to be the starter. He didn't look too great in the spring game. I think he's still got some coming along to do. Um, so there's there's really some I think nervousness at that second cornerback spot um, to the point that they even had to bring in a grad transfer just uh, about a week ago from UMass to fill that role. So uncertainty at quarter, lack of depth at receiver, those are probably two of the, two of the areas I could see you know East Carolina want, trying to at least exploit. How about the flip side of that, Aaron, with a team with not a lot of weaknesses, um, a team that's uh, going to be preseason top five, top three, whatever they are. What are the the strengths? What 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 are you basically counting on every week? Michigan doing well on the football field. Yeah, I mean it goes back to what the, the last couple of years in Michigan's offensive identity. They're they're deep and they're talented and experienced up front the offensive line. I mean you've got you've got two starting guards who were all Big Ten guys last year. Uh, they brought in three grad transfers, uh, all of whom had started at, at their previous uh, institution. They're expected to jump in and 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 start right away. And then you've got two of their their their, their key running backs back, Blake Corum, who ha- if he had not gotten hurt. Uh, in the in the second to last week last year, probably would have been a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Uh, rushed for 1,400 yards, uh, had a, had a monster season last year. And then his his comrade Donovan Edwards, again he he played injured most of the year. He still almost rushed for a thousand yards. Uh, Michigan's bread and butter is running the football. They expect them to do it again this year. Um, so running the ball specifically, they, they've always been deep at tight end. Um, they like to use those obviously in the passing game and their and and, and you know and blocking. Um, they got a, a stud coming back in Colston Lublin. He, he kind of broke out last year, again, as a true freshman. Uh, they brought on a grad transfer at tight end from Indiana and A.J. Barter, 
another uh, weapon maybe in the passing game I expect them to use. So the, the running game is going to be their bread and butter. I expect them to get Donovan Do- Edwards and Blake Corum significant, significant carries. They could use choose to use Donovan Edwards in the passing game as well. Um, but that's kind of where Michigan's offense starts and, and, and finishes. Talking to Aaron McMahon on the Pirate Radio Live Line as we preview Michigan uh, football 2023 and uh, East Carolina UNLV Bowling Green in the non-conference schedule for Michigan this year. And um, how about the, the, the and I've talked to folks from Houston, Cincinnati, UCF, uh, Aaron, as they leave the American Athletic Conference and head to the Big 12 and, and recently talked to somebody from Oklahoma uh, ahead of ECU and Oklahoma's baseball matchup in the, the Charlottesville Regional in the NCAA Tournament. So I've kind of got their perspectives on moving conferences, what it's going to be like. How about uh, the Big 10 welcoming in those California schools and, and how how funky is that? I mean, it's going to take a while to get used to. It's obviously going to raise the profile even more if that's even possible uh, for what the Big Ten has done. But what's the uh, the chatter amongst the fans, the folks around there when it comes to, to USC and, and UCLA? Yeah, when it was first announced, I think there was, there was a bit of a surprise. I mean, no one really saw it coming. There were no leaks when it was kind of first uh, unveiled last summer, yeah. uh, so it was, it was a bit of a shock. But I think when you, when after the, the dust settled, and I think folks realized what was going on, I think it made a lot of sense. I mean, the Big Ten has moved into the, the as you guys know, the, the DC and and then the New York City market by adding recently, you know, Maryland and Rutgers, you know, about ten years ago. So for them to go out out west to Los Angeles, I think made sense. Um, there is some historical, you know, matchups between Michigan and USC in the past, Ohio State, USC. So it created. Um, some some bigger matchups. It, it obviously, for you know, it created opportunity for uh, the Big Ten from a from a TV standpoint to get the Los Angeles TV market. Um, so that kind of puts the Big Ten in basically the three biggest in the country: in New York, Chicago, and and LA. So business wise, it made total sense. Um, it, it, and where things are headed, clearly, with college football from an expansion standpoint, I think the Big Ten felt the need to to kind of keep up with the SEC and it, with the, the SEC recently adding obviously Texas and Oklahoma. So. Um, I, I think it was by necessity. I, I, I think it made sense for all parties involved. I know UCLA's athletic department was struggling financially for a while, so I think the infusion in cash helps. Um, I think if you ask some of the traditionalists in the conference, I know Jim Harbaugh, in fact, was asked about it last summer, and I don't think he was a big fan of it. Yeah. But I, I, at the end of the day, I mean, obviously they don't make the decisions. It's up to the uh, the school presidents and the conference and the athletic directors, obviously. Aaron McMahon joining us, Ann Arbor News, M Live, as we get ready for another football season. East Carolina and Michigan will go at it week one in the big house and uh, going to be quite a scene there as the Pirates travel to Michigan for the first time ever. Uh, Aaron, uh, been great chatting with you today. Any uh, any uh, big news this offseason for Michigan when it comes to transfers? Uh, anything happened in spring ball that uh, was eye-opening or is it all just kind of the calm before the storm here? Uh, with Michigan right now? Yeah, nothing earth shattering. I mean, Michigan actually went through spring with a lot of injuries, a lot of guys banged up, a lot of guys kind of healing from the, the end of the, the off season. So we didn't glean it too much from the spring. Um, I just, you know, we expect a deep team. It's going to be a deep, talented team, really on both sides of the ball. I expect teams to have a difficult time stopping the run and in and, 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 and Michigan, uh, in, in running against Michigan. So they got a lot of talented guys. They got some guys, and, and this is from a program that, that lost, you know, really seven or eight guys to the NFL last year. Um, Jim, Jim Harbaugh has a program rolling right now. Uh, it's a well, well-oiled machine, a lot of depth, a lot of talent. Uh, and I'm expecting, uh, you know, this team to certainly compete for national championship in the fall. Aaron, for uh, folks that want more Michigan news, get to know the opponent more, uh, where can they go to, to see your work and uh, read what you got going on? Yeah, we're at MLive.com slash Wolverines. Um, it's M-L-I-V-E dot com. Uh, we cover Michigan head to toe all season long uh, with local uh, authority on, on the program. And I'm on Twitter at Aaron McMahon. Aaron spelled A-A-R-O-N. And McMahon is M-C-M-A-N-N. Good stuff. Enjoyed the chat, Aaron. And uh, we'll try to track you down again as we get closer to kickoff that, that week of the game. And I'll wrap it up with this, Aaron. We've talked about the Michigan perspective on things. Uh, and I see on your, your bio uh, on Twitter, you're a Central Michigan grad. Um, any – what – if anything comes to mind when you hear East Carolina, I mean, do you think of, do you know any players? Do you, I don't know, pirate lore? Uh, what, what if anything hits, uh, hits the brain when East Carolina is said to you? 
Yeah, you know, I've watched some handful of their games the last couple of years. I mean, it seemed like they had a kind of a high octane. They like to score a lot of points. It was a high octane offense. I think that's kind of what Michigan's expecting. No, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but um, you know, it's a program I'm, I'm familiar with. I mean, I've seen their games before. Um, and, and as I said before, I, I think Michigan isn't going to take any little program lightly. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a Michigan program. Keep in mind that lost to Appalachian State back in back in 2007. <laughs> they lost to Toledo. They've had their share of upsets, so I, I think they've learned their lesson. Uh, and I, I think Jim Harbaugh is going to have his, his team motivated and, and ready to go in September. Uh, App State has been set quite a bit around here since this game was announced. Uh, we're, we're holding on to that hope, Aaron, that that's about all we got right now, that uh, the uh, the Pirates can do what the Mountaineers did all those years ago. Aaron, uh, great chatting with you, man. We'll, uh, we'll keep in touch and uh, hopefully get you on down the road again, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Aaron McMahon talking Michigan football today on Pirate Radio Live. The Big Bad Wolverines ready for a championship run. Uh, Jerry says pretty similar Michigan team that App State beat. Um, let's see. Two, let's see if I can find the 2007 preseason college football poll. I believe they were top 10, right? Um, but uh, I got to find a preseason poll. Preseason 2007, you had number one at USC, LSU, West Virginia, Texas, Michigan, number five preseason. Uh, that team that lost to App State. So, been done before. Uh, upsets happen. Let's look at the largest spread upsets in college football. Because 36 is a pretty big number. Uh, let's see. Action Network's got some for us. Howard was a 45.5 point dog when they won at UNLV in 2017. That gives us some hope. Stanford, a 40.5 point dog at USC in 2007. Cuse, plus 37 at Louisville. Knocked off the Cardinals 38-35, also in 2007. 2007 was a wacky year uh, overall. Temple, similar spread, 35 and a half, won at, in Blacksburg, at Virginia Tech in 1998 as a 35 and a half point dog, 28 to 24. So, uh, yeah, it's been done before, been done several times. Uh, let's add uh, App State, by the way. Believe it or not, ECU, a bigger underdog than App State was back in 2007. The Mountaineers were 33-point dogs when they went in there and won 34-32 in the big house September 1st, 2007. Once again, we need to do a whole show on 2007, uh, the college football season, because it it was a crazy one. All right, let's take a break. When we return, we'll wrap up hour number one. Got the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau, coming up at 4 o'clock, where we will keep the college football talk going. We'll talk a little ECU and also preview the ACC with the big man. Got that coming up, hour number two. Also, name that sound. Intern Joey versus Chandler, head-to-head. Hour three, Pirate Legends, Marcus Crandall and Lester Lyons. Big Thursday edition of Pirate Radio Live rolls on after this. When you- hey, Pirate fans, this is Coach Cliff Godwin. The physicians at Orthopedics East and Sports Medicine Center have been caring for our athletes at ECU for more than 35 years. Whether it's treatment for our sports injury or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedics East provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care, physical therapy, and diagnostic testing. For experienced and professional services, call the team at Orthopedics East at 252-757-2663 or visit them online at Orthopedics OrthoEast.com. Go Pirates! When you walk through the doors of Villa Verde, you'll experience the sights, sounds, and smells of authentic Dominican flavors. This is Jay from Villa Verde inviting you to come by this summer and try one of our amazing empanadas. Our famous red snappers, grouper bites, seafood paella, Cuban sandwiches, and much, much more. Relax on the patio with a fresh mojito or a cold beer while enjoying one of our out-of-this-world desserts, like our rum pineapple cake or our famous stress ledges. Villa Verde on 10th Street, a platform 
for Good and a proud supporter of the Pirate Nation. This is Talbot Green with Integrity Home Mortgage. Are you ready and pre-approved if the home you want to purchase comes for sale today? Integrity Home Mortgage offers a wide variety of programs ranging from conventional, government, and portfolio loans, plus construction and lot loans. Our team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, and Joanne Weir offers over 50 years of experience. To get started, call me, Joanne Weir, at 531-1148. Joanne Weir in MLS 75974. For informational purposes only, Integrity Home Mortgage Corporation is equal housing lender in MLS 208516. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. North Carolina State Parks invites you to enjoy camping your way. With the weather changing, booking your own cabin is the perfect solution for your camping getaway. Reserve campsites or cabins today at Jones Lake, Goose Creek, and Cliffs of the News. Whether you enjoy traditional camping or air-conditioned cabins that can be rented with Wi-Fi, your next adventure can include hiking, beautiful scenery, and sunsets by the campfire. For information on booking a cabin, visit ncparks.gov. Take control of your health today with arc point labs looking to lose weight have you tried everything possible and nothing is working sometimes a hormone imbalance can be the underlying cause to weight issues that dieting and exercise can't fix alone a simple blood test at arc point labs can provide insight to your weight loss goals visit arcpointlabs.com today or call 629-6228 to get an appointment arc point labs accurate reliable confidential testing visit arcpointlabs.com What's up there, Pirate Nation? Kyle Gaines here from Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram here in Washington, North Carolina. This just came in, just announced 10% off MSRP on all 23 Ram Bighorns. That's right, huge savings, 10% off window sticker on these 23 Bighorns. And it is that time of year, it is Wrangler season. We have a huge selection of Jeep Wranglers, Gladiators, Soft Top, Hard Tops. So come check us out here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Remember, drive a little, save a lot. Go Pirates. The icy treat that can't be beat is Sparky Snowballs. From big kids to little kids, Sparky Snowballs has been making smiles happen for over 20 years. If you're not in the mood to chill out with a snowball, Sparky's funnel cakes and fried Oreos are a perfect Sparky-licious treat every time. Are you having an event, party, or fundraiser? Call Sparky's to come on site. Remember to follow Sparky's on Facebook or visit sparkysnowballs.com to see where they'll be next. This is Lane Hoover, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself? When you can be a pirate. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. East Plumbing, Viva Electric, and Roland Black Heating and Cooling have teamed up to form New Blue Service Group, offering Eastern North Carolina the best in plumbing, electrical, and HVAC services. Same great local team, same great local service, just a new name. For plumbing, electrical, and HVAC services, go to callnewblue.com. That's callnublue.com. New Blue Service Group, where we are redefining service excellence. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live, wrapping up hour number one. Ricky Fowler on top of the Buccaneer Music Hall leaderboard, presented by Da Buck. Da Buck. Out at the U.S. Open. He just hit a shot from the sand beside a bridge, which is not where you want to be, but he did put it back into the fairway. So he has a one-shot lead over Xander Shoffley. Scotty Scheffler, three shots back, by the way, drove to Virginia during the break, and I took Scheffler to win the tournament. So that is my guy that I'm following uh, throughout today and the weekend. Uh, I really like seeing our our viewers, our listeners, talk about the great advertisers we have here at Pirate Radio, the great establishments, the great restaurants. Jerry mentioned uh, Familia earlier. Eric mentioned tiebreakers. But Sneaky Eric... Eric mentioned tiebreakers just to set up a joke. 
Um, although his statement is true, the thing that Eric does that I really enjoy with these dumb jokes, sometimes the setup is better than the punchline because I, he, I always get got. I think he's saying a sincere line when really he's setting up a joke. Shirley, are you ready for this one? No, not really, but go for it. I don't know if I can ever get you ready for this one. Oh, no. He says, tiebreakers has a phenomenal salad with grilled chicken, which I thought was him being sincere. And he may be being sincere. Uh, Mike Mullis has uh, talked a lot about the great lunch salad at tiebreakers. He says, tiebreakers has a phenomenal salad with grilled chicken. He said, there's nothing I love more than breast in plants. I mean, again, I, I think the setup's better. You are terrible. Better than the punchline, but I appreciate it mostly because was uh, that supposed to be funny? I, I, I guess it was. Uh, intern Joel, you're kind of turning into our judge here. You did it yesterday with the draft, um, and I'm going to ask you to judge that joke. Tiebreakers has a phenomenal salad with grilled chicken. There's nothing I love more than breast in plants. How do you feel? Uh, I'm 100% sure that man is a father. Uh, that is, that <laughs> yeah. is a dad joke. He has got the uh, New Balances, the white New Balances on right now. It's me. <laughs> yeah. It's me. The gray and blue axe. I'm the problem. It's me. Eric's the problem? Huh? Is Eric the problem? Who Who told the joke? That would be Eric. Yes. All right. He's the problem. Eric, I appreciate him. We, we love your somewhat awful dad jokes that you provide to us every day here on pirate especially when you can incorporate a sponsor to it in fact i'm going to challenge you to do more of that if you can incorporate sponsors into your dad jokes uh that gets top priority i'll interrupt an interview uh to to read that to the audience um jamie and and i agree with jamie he says by the setups eric proves that he's writing these himself that's admirable I, I don't know if he's writing the whole thing himself. He's probably seeing something and then doing a little spin off on his own. I, either way, I appreciate it. Pretty good, Eric. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's take a break. When we return, the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau, returns to Pirate Radio Live. We will talk ECU football. We'll preview the ACC and have more for you on Pirate Radio Live when we return back with you after these words. The Beach Tavern Bar and Grill has been the place to be for over 50 years. BT's is the best local sports bar in the heart of Atlantic Beach. Located on West Fort Macon Road across from Pacific, BT's has daily food specials, a late night menu, cold beer, pool, darts, and live entertainment for everyone to enjoy. Make it a summer to remember at the Beach Tavern Bar and Grill. Follow BT's on Facebook and Instagram for all the daily specials and events. BT's, the place for fun in Atlantic Beach this summer. Here at Brown and Wood with Jeff Stein. It's summertime, and uh, Jeff, you guys have a new car wash. We do. We put in a brand new car wash just for the customer. So when you come in, get your vehicle serviced, we wash, dry, vacuum your car for free. It's state-of-the-art, but free to the customer. And this summer, you have an AC special. It's summertime. Air conditioning units are breaking left and right. But guess what? At Brown and Wood, all summer, I have free diagnostics on all air conditioning issues only at Brown and Wood. Hi, this is Frank Lee with Appliance Superstore, and I'm inviting you to our grand opening on Wednesday, June 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. Come help us celebrate with light refreshments, and we'll show you how easy it is buying appliances. We started with a truck, a trailer, and a storage unit. Today, we have 12,000 square feet full of appliances. We're located right off 264 behind the new DMV. We hope to see you June 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. Remember, we save customers money every day at the Plants Superstore. Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with, with Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at one 800 
662-6558 or online at copypro.net. CopyPro. We are the professional office systems people. With U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. So you don't need that robot daughter you built to get a fourth line for family plan pricing. Oh, Rope Elizabeth? She's not going to like that. The robots will prevail. Oh, boy. Get the low rate of $29.99 per line. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 1997. Visit atlanticwireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond the call. Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go. Or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Atavola, pirates supporting pirates. Upgrade your comfort right now during Bostic Sug Furniture's Summer in Motion event. Need to relax, recline, and unwind? Now at Bostic Sug, enjoy savings on all our top furniture brands. Plus, for a limited time, when you buy any recliner, lift chair or reclining sofa or sectional, you'll get a second reclining furniture item at 40% off with over 400 items in stock plus special savings on custom orders. Relaxation has never been so easy. The Summer in Motion event on now at Bostic Sug Furniture. Hey, John, I uh, see your new system's having issues already. Yeah, I used the other guy with an AC brand I've never heard of. You should have used Delcor, John. They install train. It's hard to stop a train. I know, but the other guy was cheaper. Cheaper isn't better, John. I know. I know. Don't use the other guy. Call Delcor. For a limited time, buy a new train system and pay 0% interest for 12 months. Visit Delcor.com for more details. Delcor, the service professionals. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Meta Spa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaSpa.com to set up a free consultation. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. UBE has been an ECU tradition for over 50 years, and you can shop online anytime at PirateWear.com. UBE has the biggest and best selection of ECU sportswear and accessories for pirates of all ages. Every day is game day at UBE. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's your host, Clip Rock. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live. Ricky Fowler, birdies to go minus eight. And he is so I'm not a huge golf fan, but I know enough. I know I know Ricky Fowler as the guy who wears bright, outrageous colors and big colorful hats and uh he may maybe he's toned it down over the years but i also know he he's considered like one of the best not to ever win a major right at least as far as current golfers go uh he has finished second in the masters tied for second u.s open tied for second uh british open tied for third pga championship looking for his first major win right now he has a two-shot lead on day one as they play out in los angeles so we'll keep you up to date on that and everything else going on in the world of sports we'll get a quick o's update o's win four to two so they win their series over the blue jays baltimore uh once again dominating toronto they went to toronto got a sweep earlier this year they win a series here midweek with the Blue Jays at Camden Yards. The Phillies have a 1-0 lead over the Diamondbacks, and they have the bases loaded in the second inning, and the Rays an early 2-0 lead over the A's as they play in the second inning. Those scores on the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard presented by Da Buck. Da Buck. All right, let's head out to the Pirate Radio Live Line. I haven't talked to Jeff Nadeau, the big man on campus, in a while. He joins us here today to talk some college football. Looking forward to it. Big man, how you doing? Doing good, Clip. It always means when we start talking, and you know, it's a bit early, but you know, once you 
kind of get into the summer, you know, it, it kind of flies by. So you got to gotta get started early. No doubt. And, uh, and and excited to talk some football with you today. And, Jeff, uh, a lot has changed for you, I, I know, since we last had you on Pirate Radio. In fact, uh, just earlier this week, you're on with uh, Coach JB talking to Baby Gronk's dad. I mean, what a life you live, Jeff. You never know who you'll be talking to and what you'll be doing, right? Uh, yeah, you never do. <laughs> I, I think so. The next couple of years, it will, will be much more kind of kind of uniform. You know, I, I I went through some chapters in my life. I had to try them out, and you know, now I'm kind of back. You know, where I belong, I think, and uh, you know, just back doing what I enjoy doing, and you know, moving around. You know, I do your show, I do other shows, and. You know, Coach and I have really developed a, a relationship, a friendship, and, and you know, we kind of have a good relationship as far as on the air. So, yeah, it's cool to fill in occasionally. And, look, bringing in someone like that to speak to, look, I mean, I think for what you do, you have to kind of go where, where the stories are and yeah. at, in, 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 in the news right now. No doubt. Jeff Nadeau joining us, the big man on campus. And today we're going to preview the ACC and then look at the 2023 football season. But, Jeff, I always like to bring a little East Carolina in the mix with you. And uh, seen some lines come out for week one, and East Carolina is in the big house. And uh, a 36 uh, beside Michigan's name, Pirates, huge underdogs. And I went back and looked at, at what Michigan did last year in the non-conference. They just destroyed people. They won every game by like 50 points. So that explains that number some. Also the loss of Hull Nailers, Keaton Mitchell, Isaiah Winstead, C.J. Johnson, all the production offensively explains that number as well. But I don't know. any. How about any early thoughts on Michigan and, and any thoughts on that huge number for ECU Michigan? Yeah, I've kind of said, I mean, I think this is, for first time in a long time, one of the more open years in college football. I mean, you have, I'm not, I mean, I guess you would say Georgia going into the season is your number one, but I mean, they have question marks, new quarterback, you know, you never know, but I have Michigan number two. I, I think they're surely the projected uh, team over Ohio State, and look, that number's high for a reason. I mean, there, there's a lot of people to replace on this ECU team, as you know. I mean, you led with old Naylor's. Keith Mitchell. Um, you also have to look at the defensive side of the football. Malik Fleming, who was you know one of the best best corners and defense players this team had, is gone. Um, you know, th- this is going to be a team that's going to have some real uphill battles. I mean, you figure last year, and that'd be a, a fine number to take. I mean, it wouldn't be as high as it was you know last year, but yeah, I have some real question marks. And as you said, Michigan is dominant in the non conference. Um, that's another team with a very simple schedule this year. 36 a lot. I mean, I'll be interested to see if that goes up more than 40 or, or drop more towards 35. I, I think I think ECU is going to have a lot of trouble moving the ball, and, and Michigan is really good. Yeah, and then while we're uh, before we dive into the ACC, Jeff, just uh, have you you dove into any other conferences? And I asked because Marshall and App State on the non-conference schedule for East Carolina this year. We'll get Marshall here in Greenville. We'll go to Boone to take on App State. Um, any any thoughts on those two teams as we sit here in, in mid-June? Yeah, I mean, when you're looking into, that's always a good conference. I mean, obviously, it's always App State. Marshall just recently kind of entered into that uh, kind, of, kind of group as well. I mean, they're always good quarterback play. South Alabama was strong last year. Um, you know, Louisiana Lafayette can obviously lose Billy Napier and, and, you know, they'll find their way back at some point. Um, yeah, look, I, I think to be fair, Cliff, and I'm just going to be honest, you know, I'm always, uh, you know, kind of steadfast in my opinion. I, I think UCU is going to have a, a, a concerning year. I mean, I, I don't think that's going to surprise anybody. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many wins there are here uh, on this schedule. You know, obviously moving to, um, you know, you're going to play Charlotte. They kind of come in. I mean, UTSA is always good under Jeff Traylor. Yeah, we got to go there. That, yeah, yeah. Tulane was terrific. They obviously won't be as good, but they'll still be solid. You know, at FAU, that that's tough. Um, there's not a lot of layups in this schedule. You know, even Gardner Webb. I mean, Gardner Webb is generally a team, and FCS is pretty good. Um, you know, so this is not an easy schedule by any means. You do avoid like you know Houston and Memphis and and, and groups like that, but. There's still a lot of tough uh, spots in the schedule. Talking to the big man on campus, Jeff Nadeau. We'll talk to you a little bit at ECU every time he joins us here 
on the show as we break down these conferences. But let's dive in to the ACC. And uh, one thing you'll notice about the ACC this year, when you look at the standings, they have done away with the divisions, Jeff. So no more Atlantic and no more Coastal in the ACC. Kind of hilarious and kind of hard to believe that all those years ago when they set up these divisions, they did it so Miami and Florida State were on opposite sides so they could meet in the championship and the ACC could have their big money championship game at the end of every year. And those teams never met in the championship. Kind of comical when you think about it that way. Yeah, it is. Uh, and obviously this year, just going to go with the two best teams. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and look, for, for long periods of time, I mean, Clemson has led the, the roost in this conference. But, you know, not recently. I mean, I, you know, they've been, you know, really solid. But, you know, you look at Dabo's team coming into this season, I don't have them as the number one team either. I mean, you obviously move on from Ulagalele, but, you know, Kate Klubnick coming back, I think a lot of people are excited about him in his first year. They get Will Shipley back. But to me, look, the best team in this conference coming into the season is uh, Mark, Mike Norvell and, and what he's done down at Florida State. I mean, he's just kind of every year gotten better. Um, you look at this offense coming back. I mean, they bring back Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman. Um, you know, they bring back Jordan Travis, the quarterback. You know, this offensive line's been better. And you look at what they did defensively last year. I mean, they only gave up 20 and a half points a game, which is a far cry from where they were a year or two before that. They bring back, uh, you know, some really solid kids like Jared Verse, the All-American to me. You know, they bring in some transfers that, that are already going to help uh, the secondary that's good. You know, up front, obviously you have to win in the trenches. You Can they get to the quarterback? But I think they're the best team going into the season in the ACC. I don't think that's really, to me, a question until we know what Clay K. Kublik I will be. And you look at the numbers, Jeff. Florida State uh, is the favorite uh, at the books, it appears, with Clemson kind of right there with them and just a little behind. And then there's a major drop-off to the other schools, North Carolina, Louisville, and whoever you want to go down the list. It's almost like a battle for uh, number one between Florida State and Clemson, and then kind of some afterthoughts. So I'll go ahead and start it here, and we'll go through some over-unders and who you like and things like that. Uh, who is the best team not named Florida State and Clemson in the ACC in 2023, in your opinion? Uh, I would go North Carolina. I think, you know, it, it, I'll say this. College football, the NFL, it comes down to the trenches. If, if you're good in the trenches, you will win games. Um, they have probably, I think it's, it's surely they have the best quarterback at this, this, this uh, conference. I think offensively, they'll be as good as it gets. I think defensively, I mean, there's only one way to go but up. I mean, they gave up 31 points a game last year, but they bring in Gene Chizik. I think they bring back eight or nine starters. They've got some really good kids coming in on the defensive side. And you also look at the offensive line. They give up 40 sacks last year. That's too many. Um, they went out and really addressed that. They bring in two transfers, one from Kent and one from Georgia Tech. We have to hope that uh, will kind of figure in helping them a bit. I mean, again, on defense and on the offensive line, there's not many ways to go but up. It can't be much worse. But with Drake May, I, I, I think you know he's surely the best quarterback in this conference. I don't believe in you know necessarily that Tyler Van Dyke and, and Miami will make a huge run. I'm not going to say that you know Riley Leonard and Duke. I think they'll be solid, but I, I don't think any of these teams are better than North Carolina. Yeah, Duke, one of the biggest surprises last year and what they were able to do. And uh, how about NC State? You mentioned the uh, two of the triangle schools. How about the Wolfpack? I always bring them up, and they're kind of just there. Uh, nothing spectacular, certainly not awful. And Dave Doran has been able to, to, to keep his job there by winning, you know, eight, nine games and kind of just puttering along. And is that they're kind of upper middle of the pack when it, when it comes to the gambling odds this year. Is that what you see from them? Another pretty solid team for NC State, but, but not spectacular? Yeah, I think that's kind of what they are. I think if I'll take a flyer on a team, it would be them. I, I think, you know, Brennan Armstrong is their new quarterback. Oh, yeah, from Virginia. Um, they also bring in the coordinator, Robert Anai, who, you know, look, last year they were, were, were bad, but the year before when he was at Virginia, uh, they were really good offense. Yeah. Uh, so I think if, if you can kind of develop some, some talent on, on the outside there, I mean, he can, he can wing the football around. Um, you know, the question for them is, can they actually take the step and be a top three team there and, and, and or the challenge to win the conference? I will say, I think it's a pretty open conference. I mean, I think Florida State's the best team. I don't know if it's 
significantly better. Um, but yeah, if I'm going to take a, a shot with a team, let's say at sixth or or, or lower, um, it'd probably be them. Um, you know, maybe you take a look at, at Pitt as well. They also bring in and it's, it's funny how this conference works because a lot of the quarterbacks just move to different teams in the same conference. So Brandon Armstrong goes from Virginia to NC State. You also look at Boston College, their quarterback, Bill Jerkovich, goes to Pittsburgh. Now, huh. Jerkovich, a lot of people said two years ago before he had a, a hand injury, he was possibly the next good quarterback to go to the NFL. It, hit, it hasn't worked. He's in his final year. Um, and, you know, he has a new team. They lose a lot of talent as well. Claude, you can't see, lose some kids offensively as well. We'll see if Jerkovich can kind of emerge and finish his career, you know, on the right foot. I don't know. Um, but outside of that, I, I'm not really looking to go too deep. Um, you know, th- this is pretty three or four team league thing. Jeff Nadeau breaking it down, talking ACC football here on today's edition of Pirate Radio Live. Jeff, looking at win totals, I'm seeing, and this is from an article, and and I guess you can go shopping for these totals maybe, big man, but this was back in May, and it was DraftKings had Florida State at 10, and that is a, a rich number when you look at the schedule. I mean, they open up with LSU. Uh, they also have Southern Miss in the non-conference and, of course, Florida uh, in the non-conference. North Alabama closing out their non-conference slate. In league play, they do have Clemson, and that game is on the road. Uh, and then you, you're, not, you're not a fan of, of most of these other ACC teams, but Miami is a rivalry game. They go to Wake Forest. Uh, Virginia Tech is at home. So, I don't know. T- you like this Florida State team. Do you like them enough to say they'll go 11-1 and this year? Uh, well, here's the issue. Uh, I mean, I have them pegged for eight wins automatically. That first game at, against LSU at home, or I guess it's a neutral site, th- that's a huge game. Yeah. I love LSU as well. I think they're really upstart team. That's a great game. If, if they can find a way to win that game, I would probably lean on them to get to probably ten games. Ten's a rough number, though. I, yeah. I would I mean, nine and a half would be better. But you look at the fact you got to go to Clemson. You know, you got to go to Death Valley. You got to go to Florida. You know, in a rivalry game, um, you know you, you gotta you gotta play Miami. I would lean on lean over. I think they probably get to eleven. I think they're probably a favorite in all the games I just mentioned. Maybe outside of I don't know, maybe Clemson. Probably, but I think out of that, they're, they're probably a favorite in all those games. I, again, I, Florida's not going to be as good. Yeah, I, I would lean over. It, it's it's not a great number. I think they'd probably fall on 10, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I think they're probably a favorite. And, and the two games that it's going to come down to are probably that game one and then game four at Clemson. Because you'll know what K, K. Klubman is probably by that point. Yeah. And that's, you know, kind of a tough spot in the schedule. On the flip side of that, Jeff, the lowest number I see for the ACC this year as far as win totals is Virginia. And you talk about Brendan Armstrong transferring from there, who uh, they were high-powered a couple years ago, really fell off last year. They're at a three-and-a-half, and and I'm looking at their schedule saying, all right, can they win four games? And they've got Tennessee in the non-conference. James Madison, always a tough FCS school, um, is uh, another non-conference opponent. They also play Maryland in the non-con. And they've got um, some, you know, the ACC schedule as well. So three and a half for Virginia. I know, Jeff, you like to take some, uh, some like one and a half twos in the past, whether it be like UConn or UMass. I know you've you've made some money taking some bad teams like that. Maybe Kansas uh, a couple years ago or something. So how about Virginia at three and a half? Yeah, I mean, I, I will say out of the gate, I think when you're looking at this group from a betting standpoint, I think this is a great under team all season. I, I actually think if they have a strength, it's defensively. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they bring back, I think, seven starters. It's actually a decent defense. Um, I, I think they're going to have major issues moving the football. I mean, they only averaged 17 points a game last year. I, I think they got over 31 time, and that was against William and Mary or somebody. The quarterback issues are going to be concerning. I mean, the, the battles between a guy called Jay Woolfolk and a, and a transfer from Monmouth, I mean, that kind of shows you where they are. I think on this schedule, I mean, you have one probably auto win, and that's William and Mary. But other than that, I mean, you got to go to Tennessee week one. That's brutal. you got to play James Madison, who is really good in the same state. That's a bit of those. That's one of those I'll be looking to grab JMU as kind of the in-state 
uh, little brother team. Got to go to Maryland. That's not going to be easy. It's a tough schedule here. Now, I will say, I mean, Georgia Tech, I mean, that's winnable. BC's winnable. I, I think they're probably a three-win team. Virginia Tech's winnable as well, rivalry game. The game, will, the, the schedule will probably come down to them winning that game, rivalry yeah. game at home. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't I don't have much on that one. That's a pretty good number. If it was four and a half, I'd probably be real interested. But three and a half, I'd lean under because I don't believe that they'll actually win those three games. Um, but – not real valuable to me. Jeff, before we uh, wrap up ACC talk, uh, any other thoughts on uh, on this year's ACC outlook with win totals, teams you like? Uh, how about players? You've talked about Drake May and some other individuals, but who are uh, some of the, the future stars uh, playing for, for these schools this year you're looking at? Yeah, I'll be interested in seeing kind of what Louisville does. And that's an interesting team. I mean, they have a pretty good schedule. They don't got to play Florida State. They don't got to play North Carolina or Clemson. You bring in Jeff Brom, who I loved at West Kentucky. I loved him at Purdue, and I love him uh, at Louisville. I-, I think this is a great hire. You know, we talk all the time about hires. Um, you know, who will who will kind of lead the way there? You know, you look at this team um, defensively. I mean, uh, you know, we were pretty good last year, quite honestly. Bring back a lot. Um, you know, they do lose some guys, bring back a lot. I, I think they're going to be an interesting team. We'll see what Jack Plummer, the, the Cal transfer, looks like there. Um, but, but Louisville's an interesting team. They, they always kind of find a guy that they kind of find success there, um, you know, whether it be, you know, the Lamar Jacksons or Malik Cunninghams. We'll see what Jack Plummer is, you know, because that, that offense at Cal is a mess. Uh, he should really enjoy this offense. And I mentioned him before, Phil Jerkovic. I, I think he's a guy who – has the talent. He's just never really matriculated. We know Kenny Pickett had success at Pitt. We know that Pat Narduzzi's done a pretty decent job with some of these guys. There. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that, that's a guy to kind of keep an eye on, a couple of guys to keep an eye on. I will also say we always seem to find someone at North Carolina. Josh Downs was a great player there. Um, they've had, you know, some great players there over the years in that offense. So I'll be interested in seeing kind of who Drake May kind of finds as his top target. Uh, that, that's going to be an interesting team as well, as I said. Jeff, uh, awesome talking football with you. Gets me fired up. Got uh, one more thing for you before we let you go. NBA draft coming up next week. Um, as a Hornets fan, who who should I want at number two? Is it Scoot uh, or is it um, Brandon Miller from Alabama? Who, who do the Hornets get at number two? Who, uh, who should I be most excited about? Uh, well, you know, I think you have to be excited if I would want Brandon Miller personally. Um, now, look, we we're not going to get down the the off the court stuff. We, we we know that happened, and we're not going to deal with it much anymore. But I, I kind of look at kind of the you know where they are with with you know kind of the Lamelo Ball and, and everything there. That that kind of is is interesting to think about with him and Lamelo Ball in that kind of run run in the court. You know, we've talked about that over the years. I, I would want Lamelo Ball personally. Um, I, you know. I'm not gonna, you know. I like Scoot Anderson, Henderson, but give me, give me, give me Brandon Miller. All right. I, I obviously would want Victor Webanyama, but <laughs> it would be Brandon Miller. No doubt. Uh, Jeff Nadeau uh, joining us, big man. Uh, what you got going on? We need to know about uh, uh, the sit down podcast. What else uh, yeah, just, you got? Just, just continuing to grow. You know, this kind of that time in the, the schedule where you know you're not real close to football, but you're close. Um, just looking forward to getting my ducks in a row. Um, I continue to do the show that I have to sit down. But other than that, I'm, I'm getting my ducks in a row for football, uh, preparing. You know, basketball will be back before we know it. He, and, and nowadays, Cliff, you got to – this is 24, 365 business. you got to understand, you know, the transfer market. I mean, 20% of the, the kids were in the portal this year. So there's a lot to keep an eye on. It's just doing, doing work in my lab here. I'm in my new house, so I'm kind of just, uh, you know, kind of kind – of, doing work and, and, and trying to stay busy during the day with, with several things I'm doing. Good stuff. I uh, enjoyed the chat. Got me fired up for some football, Jeff, and uh, we'll keep it rolling. Uh, let's let's uh, knock out another preview next week. I look forward to it. Thanks, Cliff. All right, getting back in the swing of things. It's uh, football preview season, and great to chat with the big man on campus. We'll run down the conferences uh, each week here on Pirate Radio Live. Uh, and he sent me a text earlier this week, said, hey, let's talk ACC. I said, all right, so we'll see uh, what he's got planned for next week, maybe some SEC, some Big 12, some Big 10, and uh, we'll go down to the American as well because 
That is pretty interesting. Let me look at the American um, odds for 2023 who is it utsa tulane uh the favorite according to vegas insider is tulane followed by smu and then utsa utsa and smu kind of even there at second i don't like tulane to repeat this year and i'm just basing that off watching sports my entire life and you have a great season but can you sustain it Uh, They did their part by keeping Willie Fritz there, of course. But I don't think Tulane repeats as the champion this year. I don't trust. If I'm picking, I'm going to go UTSA to come in and win it uh, in their first year in the American. Uh, Their coach coming back and trailer. I would take them and their odds at plus 400, plus 430, depending on where you look. Uh, So here's the order. Uh, of odds to win the American in 2023, according to I'll just go by FanDuel. So Tulane is the favorite at plus 200, followed by SMU and UTSA. They're pretty similar in price. Memphis fourth, FAU fifth, and then there's a major drop off where you get to North Texas, East Carolina, uh, followed by Navy, Temple, Tulsa south florida uab rice and then charlotte is at the bottom so that's kind of the order as far as the odds go we'll have i guess media days coming up soon and the uh the media will pick their poll and everything and we'll uh we'll find out where east carolina is slated there but east carolina right now odds wise right in the middle of the pack pretty much kind of on the right side of the middle but still middle of the pack behind Tulane, smu utsa memphis fau and north texas all right let's take a break when we return name that sound the chan man is back so we'll have chandler honeycutt versus intern joey coming up what a battle And, uh, oh, I got a lot of catching up to do on the uh, YouTube chat as well. All right. We'll take a time out. Come back. More to go. Pirate Radio Live back with you after this. Serving those who serve is a lifelong mission, one that Budweiser supports with Folds of Honor. Together, they've been helping military families for over 13 years by funding life-changing scholarships. So join me in raising a Budweiser to raise funds for families for American heroes. Grab a case of Budweiser today at your favorite local retailer. Proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing. Supporting our military veterans and the Pirate Nation since 1989. Enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2023. Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, Lager Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. UBE and PirateWear.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. It's the best idea ever. Oh, come on. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla was my idea. I did that. Don't play yourself. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. Genius. Hey, Pirate fans, Papa John's is the MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at papajohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Go Pirates. Pepsi Zero Sugar has a new, better flavor. A Zero Sugar Cola has never tasted this good. But we don't expect you to take our word for it, so we're putting it to the test. Starting with me. Cue the fireworks. We have an official best Zero Sugar ever. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and it's so good you'll need to try it for yourself. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Zero never tasted so good. That's what I like. Happy 100th anniversary to Minji's Bottling Group. Congratulations on 100 years of refreshing Eastern North Carolina. Familia is your go-to spot for the best Italian dishes around, including pizzas, pastas, salads, and homemade desserts. That's Familia. Enjoy half-off wine night on Wednesdays, $3 drafts on Thursdays, or get a pizza of the week for just $12. That's Familia. Plus your order online or call 
Call 689-6330 and Familia will have your order ready in their drive through window for pickup. That's Familia. Clip, really? Oh, sorry. Familia on Fire Tower Road in Winterville near Pitt Community College. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Avoid the long check-in lines and congestion at the big airports and fly local at PGV. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American Airlines flights perfect for your next trip. Book today at aa.com. PGV, where the pirates fly. Did you know that it's illegal to dig without first calling 811? A11 is a free program that locates underground utilities, marking them with flags and paint lines so you know where not to dig. Accidentally digging into utility lines interrupts service and could seriously hurt you or someone else. If you know someone who's planning to dig, encourage them to call 811 at least three full work working days before they dig. 811 is free, it's safe, and it's the law. This message is brought to you by Greenville Utilities and this station. Have you ever seen those exotic aquariums like the guys do in Las Vegas on television? You ever thought about having one of these aquariums in your business? It's more affordable than you think. This is Hal Pruitt with rentafishtank.com. We can make having an aquarium in your business turnkey with no work, cleaning, or hassles for you. Rentafishtank.com creates a relaxing atmosphere and keeps children occupied. Rentafishtank.com already services many dental, pediatric, and doctor offices, plus hospitals and senior living centers. Check us out at rentafishtank.com. Hey everybody, this is David Glenn, and you're listening to my favorite station in Eastern North Carolina, Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Meta Spa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaSpa.com to set up a free consultation. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Be sure to visit one of ECU graduate Brandon Tate's U.S. Cellular locations and experience the highest standard of customer service. The purpose of the Atlantic Wireless Store Experience is to inform, illuminate, and inspire. Find the location near you at AtlanticWireless.com. Atlantic Wireless, we go beyond the call. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here is your host, Cliff Rock. Got a uh, message from our buddy, normal Thursday guest during the baseball season, Brandon Manning. Mm -hmm. Our Farm Bureau Insurance, ECU Report. Superstitious beers. Superstitious beers. Superstitious beers. Superstitious beers. Superstitious beers. He is in London Town. London. Going to check out the MLB Europe Stadium. He said, oh, so he's across the pond. He said, be back next week. So, uh, Brandon Manning checking in with us. And uh, we will talk some College World Series and Pirate Baseball, MLB, and more when he returns. And get a recap of his trip. Uh, overseas he is the real greek freak he was in greece earlier this week chandler honeycutt's back hey chandler hey clipper how you doing good thank you for joey asking. how you doing shirley doing how well, you doing, doing well. uh, i'm doing good uh one one gripe with that you gotta let people answer before you ask the next person you know what i'm saying sorry i apologize no i, I get, you're taking this the wrong way. do you uh, do you agree with yeah, what i'm saying I, yeah i, I made a mistake a, just a common courtesy yeah yeah. Sorry. Did you apologize to them or I just said it so sorry. I apologize. You were looking at me though. To anybody that I offended. No, no, no. All right. I, I'm sorry. I got another gripe. <laughs> that is a terrible apology. When you say I'm sorry to anyone I offended, that is such a I don't care if I offended you. You gotta clean that up. <laughs> Joey, I'm sorry. Hey, apology accepted. Shirley, I'm sorry. Sure. All right. Let me do this again. You, you Joey, got, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How you doing? Shirley, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Man. Jan. I've got one more tiny gripe. I, I love what you did there. Pretty good. But I have one more tiny. You, you apologized to them, which was nice. It was great. Do you got one more for me, though? For the set, You apologized to me the first time. Do you have one for the second time? To apologize to you? Yeah. For what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like you gave them individual apologies. Well, and what I'd be apologizing to you for? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just 
<laughs> I just wondered if you had one for me in the left in the tank. You know what? Left in the chamber. I'm sure I owe you some apologies. Yeah. So I'll just say I'm sorry. Apology accepted. All right. We're good. See, I would have I would have said something like, I'm sure I owe you an apology, but you ain't getting it today. <laughs> hey, you know what, Chandler? I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you. I'm sorry. Po- apology accepted, my friend. All right. See, that's how it that's how it works. You know, there's been several examples on this show where me and you have gotten to some bouts and in the matter of ten seconds, if you were to go use the bathroom and come back, we're best friends again. Yeah. Yeah. Because we just squashed the beef. Everybody wants to continue the beef nowadays. They don't want to, you know, be grown men, grown women, and squash the beef and just go on with their lives. Correct. They want to just continue it on, not me and him. We, you, we set an example of gr- being great human beings. Young Joey, I hope you're taking notes. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I got my notepad. My pen and everything. <laughs> All right. Um, Jamie says, I'm trying to psych out Chandler. That is not true at all we're we're giving life lessons here uh that, that's all we're doing and i believe joey you might have a uh, family member in the chat rooting you on so is that so yeah um what's your last name Camano. Camano. <laughs> we've got a uh joe ed oh that's pops right yeah there, pops yeah. Is, is hanging out uh and is your joey uh j-o-w-i yes it is oh, i didn't is, know I never that. knew that yeah i really never asked so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that is it cool it's like jolly. a little different a little different very Shout cool godfather for that one all right so chandler has his uh cheering section joey's got fans <laughs> in the chat and uh shirley hit the music let's play come on in Sit right down, take a guess, and name that sound, turn that frown upside down, because it's time, but name name that that sound. sound. Now, here's the host of Name That Sound, Miss Shirley Rose. Thank you, thank you, and welcome in to yet another edition of Name That Sound. We're going to do it a little different this week, as uh, Clip is going to take the week off, and it's going to be Chandler going head-to-head with intern Joey. So we're going to see who is quick on the draw. Yes, Clip? May I say something to young Joey? Sure. Joey, this is a game of knowledge, but even more than that, a game of speed. Your brain has to be firing. <coughs> you got to get it in quick. Chandler has known many sounds, so, and he's not known many, but he's known some, <laughs> but has not had the speed to get it in. So don't wait. Don't. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Don't be patient. This is one game where you got to force your way in. Don't wait for nobody. Do we got a buzzer or do we just blurt no, it out? No, just you your, it out. your okay. voice. Let gotcha. your voice be heard quickly sounds so, good sounds good just wanted to, to chandler you know the deal i just wanted to pass that along to make it an even playing field yeah all right and i do want to say good luck to joey good luck to you as well it's very Chandler. nice very very kind of you all right gentlemen are we ready to play yes oh, yeah. ma'am all right here we go here's your first sound i don't want them to gain another yard you blitz all night friday night lights incorrect right, no, no, that's uh, uh remember the titans mm. you are correct sir Okay, Joey, warming up, we're warming up. We're warming can up. I, can I? Can sure, I give young sure. Joey? I, yes, I'm kind of like the coach here. Can I get a twenty? <laughs> just start spitting stuff out. Okay, I got you. Just yeah. spit it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. We'll laugh at you. We'll point at you. We'll make fun of you. First thing that came to mind was longest yard. I couldn't get it out. Right. Hey, hey look, and that would have been a good guess. It would have been a good guess. But just get it out there, I man. Got you. Get yep. it out there because. So it's you not never just know. music. I'm not going to lie. My headspace was in music. So it's oh, no, 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 no. This is this runs the gamut. It could be music. It could be uh, TV. It could be movies. It could be it could something be... you hear in your everyday life. Okay. Something you hear in your everyday life. That's All correct. Right. All right. All right. Here we go. Next sound. I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> this is going to be tough for the younger guys. Yeah. Yes. This is going to be tough. Uh, do it again, please. Sure. I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> yeah, now this was recorded on something that's probably not even in use today. <laughs> wow. 
Did you really just insult my my age at this point? No, no, no. Well, see, I didn't even know you were a part of that area. You look so young. You know? Oh, oh way to go, All right, Joey. Way to recover. Way to recover. Okay, good job. Good job. All right, one more time. I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> Yeah, this was. Five, uh, uh, can I four, just say? It, I gotta three, say, Saturday Night Live. Two, it's not specific. One. Eh, no. Shirley, was this one of the first shows on Fox? Not like, only the first show on Fox, but if you go back and watch it, it's probably the most offensive show you'll ever watch. Yeah, this was uh, pretty racy for yeah. the uh, the time. Stanford and Son. No. Did no. you say Stanford? Stanford and Son. No. No, it would be one Al Bundy from Married with Children. Married with Children. Yeah. 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 Never heard of it. Years was yeah, no. Nah. Yep. All well, right. that's why I said I can't make it easy. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. All right, here we go. Next sound. You're the girl. What? You're my pretty lady, McElroy. Wait, why? Because you whine like one. And no one can lift your fat ass. Uh, is, it, is it Happy Gilmore? No. No? Uh, no. No one can. You're the girl. What? You're my pretty lady, McElroy. Wait, oh, oh, this is Will Ferrell. Like uh, and no one can lift. I'm you're helping you out. I know, you're teeing him uh, up. This is what yeah. Chandler usually Tyler does. Tyler Diggins Nights? No. No, uh, you know. Uh, Will Ferrell. Uh, oh. You're the girl. What? <laughs> you're my pretty lady, McElroy. Oh, Wait, this, is, uh, you're this is... Because you're whining like one. Um, and no one can lift. Up. You're fat ass. No. This nope. is... Um, is this the trop, trop? It's him and Mark Wahlberg. Nope. Uh... Uh, Anchorman? Oh, yeah. Anchorman? No. No. Uh, no. 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 You're the girl. Oh, what? You're my I thought lady, this Matt movie was run. hilarious. Wait, wait, wait. Dodgeball? Like no. One, no. And no one can lift wow. this fat ass. Uh, I want to apologize to everybody. Uh, no, hey, yeah. look. No, no. This is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens to like, the show. I like that you're playing the game, though. You're throwing out titles. You got the actor. You got the actor. It is Will Ferrell. I'm looking for the name of the I'm movie. Elf. Uh, no. Land of Time. Uh, no. Okay. Five. Give him nothing. Four. Nah. Three. Nope. Two. Wow. I have nothing. Nothing. Shirley, can I say that there are context clues in the line? That, that is correct. Where he's saying, I can't lift you up or you're the girl. It's They're that roller skating movie, isn't it? It's couples yeah, ice skating. That, oh, Blades, skating. Of Blades, Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory. Yep. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Oh, you Man. were getting there. You were getting there. All right, next sound. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. I will no, take no, either no. the... In the air tonight, Phil Collins. Oh, well yeah. done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Joey, you have to do that again. Hold on. <laughs> so, I see a lot of young Joe. I see a lot of Chandler in young Joey's game. Chandler's a big finish the lyrics instead of saying the artist. Like a lot of... A lot of rookie moves he's making that you've made in the past. Mm -hmm. And now you're a veteran... So Joey, like you know, a few weeks from now, right, now, right? Yeah, I mean, look, you're, this is it's tough to come in and win on your first time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Next sound. Big game. Big game. Uh, uh, Burger King. Well done. Let's go. Well done. Who got it? It'll be him. You're going okay. Why? I said why. Well, he said uh, Whopper. I said why. Oh, are you he looking for Burger King? Burger King. I was looking okay. for Burger King. Gotcha. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I knew my eating would help me. Out <laughs> Fast food legend over here. Uh, ra, da, da. Okay, I just needed. I was missing a cut here. All right, so we'll play two more and then we'll take a quick break. It's not a two more. Can I get a score check? Two, but, yes, more? score check is Chandler is in the lead, two to one. Well, we got a game. We got a game, folks. All right, here we go. Next sound. I thought he was just jumping in the stands and he grabbed a, he grabbed a camera. Home. I was like, yes, sir. I was like, what wow. wow. That was a quick. tie ball game, Froggy. folks. That was quick. Yep. All oh, right. God, was that real? Did Hit it, it again? again. I thought he was just jumping in the stands and he grabbed, it, he grabbed the camera. The I was like, I was like, what the world? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was like, I thought that, like, what that sounds like is like someone making fun of Patrick Mahomes. Sounds like Mincy. Y yeah, but it's actually Patrick <laughs> Mahomes. Wow. All right, next sound, and then we'll take a break.
This man was a bona fide scrub. Uh, he can't kid. play. Oh. <laughs> Who oh, was no. on crack? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I lost one. Uh, oh. boy Chandler. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. It is three to two. Hold on to your hats, folks. Chandler is in the lead. Halfway through a round and a half of Name That Sound. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll finish it up. Can Chandler reach that finish line? We'll find out in four minutes. Be right back. The Orioles take on the Seattle Mariners on June 24th at 4.05 at Oriole Park. Celebrate the pairing of Baltimore's favorite colors and be one of the first 25,000 fans 15 and over to receive an Orioles Purple Pride jersey presented by Royal Farms. Don't miss out on the chance to represent your hometown with this one-of-a-kind crossover jersey. And arrive early for Early Bird Saturdays. Gates open two hours early with happy hour, live music, and more. Buy tickets now at Orioles.com slash tickets. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving shell gas, including 93 ethanol-free high-octane gas, which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates. This is Aaron Williams with Ease Plumbing. This is Mike Hoggart with Viva Electric. This is Mark McLawhorn, Rolling Black Heating and Cooling. We have teamed up to form New Blue Service Group, offering Eastern North Carolina the best in plumbing, electrical, and HVAC services. Same great local team, same great local service, just a new name. Contact us at callnewblue.com. That's callnublue.com. New Blue Service Group, where we are redefining service excellence. Call us today to help with your plumbing, electrical, and HVAC services. Go Pirates. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots, and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Contact the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medi Spa on Red Banks Road in Greenville. Free consultations available. Visit us at beautybarmedispa.com. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Enjoy your visit. Love your transformation. Go Pirates! The best burgers around. Everyone loves a thick, juicy, and fresh burger. Tiebreakers in Greenville, plus the all-new Tiebreakers in Winterville do real burgers better than anybody. So don't just go to any burger-themed restaurant chain. It's time to break the chain and eat local. Tiebreakers, real burgers at its best. Everybody loves burgers. Greetings, friends of Eastern North Carolina. If you're looking for a great place to work with competitive pay and a multitude of advancement opportunities, Pitt County Schools is hiring. We employ over 3,500 people, and we're one of the largest employers in Pitt County. We are currently seeking teachers, bus drivers, school nutrition personnel, facility staff, custodians, clerical staff, and more. We offer advanced leadership opportunities for our educators and competitive pay for our skilled labor force. If you want to be be part of a thriving school system that focuses on educating students, growing our employees, and promoting positive mental and physical health initiatives, we encourage you to become a part of our Pitt County Schools family to help ensure success for the future of Eastern North Carolina. To fill out an application, visit our website today at pittschools.org. That's pittschools.org. And remember, education is truly a team effort. Pitt County Schools, live and lead. Do you ever talk to yourself about where to eat today, and then you hear, Warren's Hot Dogs. Then you're thinking, yeah, two hot dogs, chips, and a drink for only six twenty five would be awesome. Warren's Hot Dogs. And maybe some homemade lemonade, perhaps a pizza or a sub, and definitely an apple or peach turnover. Warren's Hot Dogs. Don't overthink where to eat today. Go to Warren's Hot Dogs in Greenville across from Ron Ayers or in Chocowinity next to the fire station. Warren's Hot Dogs, serving the Pirate Nation since 1991. Go Pirate. This is Josh Gross, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation.
You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Beauty Bar Meta Spa. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Visit BeautyBarMetaSpa.com to set up a free consultation. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Uh, Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room is your favorite place in downtown Greenville for lunch, dinner, or drinks with friends. They serve lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Plus, they have uh, brunch starting at 1030 on Saturdays and Sundays. And you can follow Fifth Street on Instagram for the latest events and specials. Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room right beside the State Theater in Greenville. Now let's head back into PRL. I am Shirley Rhodes, and we are in the middle of a heated battle between Chandler and intern Joey for Name That Sound. And uh, as we stand, Chandler has a one-point lead. He leads Joey 3-2. to two. Action really picked up late uh, there in that last segment. Yes. It was and, back uh, and forth. Joey, do, would you care to share what your friends texted you <laughs> in, during the break? Yeah, a couple of them called me a bit of a fatty for knowing that Burger King was too quick. <laughs> hey, you fit right in around hey, here. Hey, you know what you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, gentlemen, let's move on to uh, our next sound. Here we go. Diddy does do hits. We'll take a hit. We'll take yeah, a hit. Yeah, we're happy with a hit. Diddy is excited. So I'm looking for the product that is being sold. Old Spice? Rock? No. Diddy does do hits. We'll take a hit. We'll take yeah, a hit. Yeah, we're happy with a hit. Cigarette. Diddy is excited. Uh, you know, Shirley, you played these sounds early for me today. I got a bunch of them. Doesn't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, I don't know this. I played this one for earlier, I but I don't think you... I never heard. answered. I don't know yeah. what it is. All right, one more time. Diddy does do hits. We'll take a hit. We'll take yeah, a hit. Yeah, we're happy with a hit. Yeah. Diddy is excited. No, oh, I actually seen this recently. Five, it's Diddy in four, the studio. Three. Uh, two. Shoot. One. Nope. Eh. No. You are on the right path. I it's Uber seeing, One. Uh, Uber One. Okay. Uber One. Uber One. He, you, you, you had the commercials. You just didn't tell me what <laughs> the product that was. Is that Diddy talking? No, that oh, okay. is Diddy's like handler. Him. Okay. He actually, it's it's the first commercial featuring uh, the uh, the studio one. All right. So oh, it's gotcha. where he's meeting with the uh, people that want him to sing a song, and he says Diddy, Diddy doesn't do music. All right, next one. Oh, uh, Harry Styles. You are correct, sir. How I know that, I don't know. <laughs> as is it was it, is that not what you said clip when you came as in as it was yeah so no, i was at tiebreakers the and they were playing it yeah and i went home and i hum and sing to myself a lot just walking around the house and my wife was like why are you singing harry styles like, i didn't know it was him i just know that part that goes as it was yeah, I'm yep. not, i heard that song but I'm as not, I didn't it know was yep 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 so. yep all right, oh, so Chandler back. has doubled his lead over Joey now. It is four to two. All right, Chandler, can you put in the death nail, or can young Joey stay alive? Yes. Okay, here we go. Next sound. There's two roads in life. One is you're winning or learning, and the other is that you're losing all the way to the <laughs> grave. Hmm. Wise words. <laughs> yeah. They are wise words. As for what that is, not a chance. In my let mind. me let me hear it again. There's two roads in life. One is you're winning or learning, and the other is that you're losing all the way to the <laughs> grave. I don't even know. That's an actor. Here's can I the say hint. This is a TV show. Yes. Yeah. The hint is it's a television show. Friday Night Lights. No. It's more recent. Is it sport related? Uh, no. Can I ask questions? <laughs> yes, you can ask okay. questions. Uh, is, it's not sport related. It's a recent show. Is it on? There's one? two roads in life. One is you're winning or learning, and the other is that you're losing all the way to the <laughs> grave. Breaking Bad. Incorrect. This guy talking has been Five, in sports movies. Four. Yep. Three. Uh, and it was also a main character in one of my favorite movies. One. What's, what's that <laughs> movie before you say one? <laughs> <laughs> That would be one Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone. Oh, oh, you know what? I thought it was Kevin Costner talking. Nope. 
Mm -mm. So Rip was in uh, Dazed and Confused. Yes, so that's what you which were I about. absolutely loved. It's one of the greatest movies. Has one of the greatest soundtracks ever in a movie. Low ride. Take All you. right, four to two is still your score. Chandler in the lead. We are moving into. Uh, why am I missing so many? Okay, uh, I know what I did. Okay, so now let's go into round three. We're gonna have to pick up the pace here. So let's go next sound. Lightning it's round. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? No, I don't want to hang out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? That's that's a scary movie of some sort, right? Scary movie? Uh, you? Uh, it's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Uh, Chucky? No. Uh, who is oh, man. Friend? Five, oh, four, man, I, three, <laughs> two. Okay. I don't watch scary movies. One. It's and a twin sister. No. No. Nope. Chucky is. It was kind of like a new Chucky almost, Charlotte. A new yeah, yeah, I child's would, play. Yeah, a new child's play, but it's called Megan. Oh, I've never heard of it. It's the robot. Never heard of her. Oh, uh, well, you should. You don't want to be creepy. creepy. Yeah, you don't want right. to hang out. All right, next sound. I can care less about what I do. Shaq. Shaq. Wow, that, that's crazy. Chandler gets it. Five to two. Chandler in the lead. That was a big one. That was a, yeah, a turning I point. I was just about to get that All one. All right, Joey, you're going to have to run the table here. All right, here we go. Let's do here it. Here we go. Next sound. Let me turn it up just a bit. I mean, sounds like a stable. Nope. Door knock. Uh... What am I listening to right now? I didn't get this one either. But uh, five, it's like a four on the door. You know, we got the three, door knocker thingies. Nope. Two, uh, one. Can I give one hint? Sure. And then you do another five second countdown. Yes. Summertime activities. Five, four. Hit it again. Can we hear three, it again? Three, two. Uh, diving board. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, 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 clutch. Does he have the clutch gene? Oh, All yeah. right, five to three. Is Chandler on crack? <laughs> on crack! <laughs> Here we go, next sound. Home in a net with a pain in the Hey, neighbor! I'm looking for the product. Play it again. Home in a net with a pain in the Hey, neighbor! You know what's funny, Shirley? It's optimum. Nope. It's, um... Home in a net with a pain in the Oh, home internet? Okay. All right. So then we've got Optimum. We've got... Nope. We've got uh, uh, Spectrum. We've got... Hey, neighbor. Uh, we've got... Um, five. I'm trying to think four, of there's something like that. Uh, three. Sunlink. Two. Link. Uh, one. Greenway Utilities. <laughs> <laughs> no free promo. <laughs> How did Greenway Utilities get the guys from uh, Scrubs to be in their commercial? <laughs> That Surely, would be what's funny. Is I know the people, the guys from Scrubs and uh, Travolta are yes. in the ad. I yes. don't know the company. T-Mobile. Huh? No. T-Mobile. I saw it was this. a Super Bowl oh, ad. I literally had. Yeah. 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 All right. This is the last sound for the round. We have a bonus sound coming up. Here we go. Only problem is we all got so much junk floating through us. A lot of times we end up getting in our own way. Here's a hint. It's a television show. Only problem is we all got so much junk floating through us. A lot of times we end up getting in our own way. Okay. Dave Chappelle, Chandler Five, hasn't seen anything uh, since four, 1995. So three, no. two, shoot, man. one. Eh. That would be one Ted Lasso. Yeah, I ain't seen that. Ted Lasso. Oh, I see. No, I just didn't pay for Apple TV. That's the issue. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I gotta remember that part. All right, so five to three is your score. Bonus sound worth a hundred points. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Why did the scarecrow get an award? Because he was outstanding in this field. Did you? <laughs> did you read this? No. It's another new show, right? Yeah, it's another new show. It is on. I, would Joey you call did. it a television show? Joey didn't pay for uh, Max. Oh, he, didn't, he probably Max. didn't pay for yeah. HBO Max either. Why did well, the scarecrow get an award? Definitely not Max either. Because he was outstanding in this What's field. Did you? All the... Did you read this? It was also a video game. It was also a video game. Oh, uh, The Last of Us? That is you it. You are correct. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. your final score. Yeah, I'm molly -wopped. 
I, I no. Your, I your, think your final you know, score. That is wrong. I, great respect. Great six, respect to you. Hey, Mike great, Ford, six relax. Six to three, Chandler. That's a good game. That's a good That's game. A good That's game. a really good game. Hey, we did the dang thing, Joey. We did. We did. You entertained I, the masses. Yep. Shirley, good, good game by you. I suggest that if Connor's going to be here next week, while in my absence, the two of you go head to head. Oh, yeah. Me and Connor are going to get to it. I think... May I suggest something? Sure. I think next week we go Chandler versus Connor to give him a little taste. And then the following week. When I come back. We have the battle. Okay. We have the intern right. battle. Okay. And now and, do that. And Joey and I can, uh, well, I'll come up with a game. In fact, I'll, uh, if you'll be around that day, Joey, you can help me come up with the sounds for Chandler and Connor. Sounds good. All yeah, right. We we'll do that. that. Yeah, let's then do that. Then we'll have the intern showdown where one man gets a full-time job gets troy d's old job and the other has to leave greenville forever oh, man. okay but you can't have troy d's old office that's mine or oh, his okay. parking space <laughs> or his parking space. just this job <laughs> okay. let's take a break when we return pirate legends marcus crandall and lester lines that is on the way pirate radio live back with you after this turn on the light It's the summer shopping season at Brown & Wood here with Jeff Stein. Jeff, I've noticed a lot of great GMC pickup trucks on the lot. Yes, sir. We have 2500s and 1500s in stock and the all-new 3.0 Duramax diesel. We earned 30 extra trucks on allocation, so go online, brownandwood.com, or stop in, build your truck. We'll get it coming for you. Brown & Wood, voted number one by the customer in Greenville. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of the pirates. They're open every day and have live music every night, along with 18 big screen TVs to watch all your favorite sporting events. Tuesday, it's karaoke with DJ Captain Morgan. Wednesdays, it's line dancing. Thursday night is the dance party with DJ Kid Scene. And live music every Friday and Saturday night with the best bands on the East Coast. Follow the Buck on Instagram for more information on scheduled events. And we'll see you at the Buck. Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1 800 682 6558 or online at copypro.net. Copy Pro. We are the professional office systems people. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local and print it local with University Sportswear. University Sportswear is your one-stop shop to help promote your business and always provide superior customer service. No matter what apparel you need for your team or customers, University Sportswear can make it happen. Visit universitysportswearenc.com for contact information. University Sportswear, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. Go Pirates! The Wood Ducks are back in Kinston this week hosting the Kannapolis Cannonballers. Thirsty Thursday will be a doubleheader starting at 5 p.m. Come and enjoy $2 natural lights, bush lights, and peanuts. Join the Wood Ducks on Friday for post-game fireworks sponsored by WNCT Channel 9. And on Saturday, the first 1,000 fans will receive a Kinston Collar Green spatula sponsored by Ag Carolina Farm Credit. And on Sunday, bring your furry friend to the ballpark and enjoy dollar hot dogs sponsored by Riverbank Animal Hospital and Minute Maid Food Mart. Hope to see you at Granger Stadium all week long. Go Woodies! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is proud ECU graduate and former baseball player Brandon Manning inviting you to join my team at Farm Bureau Insurance. Right now is a good time to review your coverage with a local trusted agent like me. I will make myself available before or after business hours, and my clients always have my cell phone number if they need anything. From home, auto, or life, give me a call today and let's talk about your insurance coverage and about the Pirates. Call 531-1812 and go Pirates! Take control of your health today with Arc Point Labs. Looking to lose weight? Have you tried everything possible and nothing is working? Sometimes a hormone imbalance can be the underlying cause to weight issues that dieting and exercise can't fix alone. A simple blood test at Arc Point Labs can provide insight to your weight loss goals. Visit arcpointlabs.com today or call 629-6228 to get an appointment. Arc Point Labs. 
accurate, reliable, confidential testing. Visit artpointlabs.com. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back at the Appliances Superstore. They make buying appliances easy. It's just that simple. The Appliances Superstore has the largest selection of in-stock appliances in eastern North Carolina, which helps our customers save money every day. The Appliances Superstore offers a 12-month warranty on every appliance. Plus, we'll deliver and set up your new appliances and remove your old ones. The Appliances Superstore off Highway 264 behind the new DMV, or you can shop online at appliancessuperstore.com. Remember, we make buying appliances easy at the Appliances Superstore. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday really like the setup of today's show we've had football previews we've played a game and now we'll talk to ec royalty it's a good summer show uh here on pirate radio live and we will now play uh our interview with lester Lyons. so before marcus crandall left town we banked a lot of uh great interviews with pirate legends and got uh still got jaris mcphail to play at some point we'll hit that one uh if not tomorrow next week uh but here's the chat we had with ecu hall of famer lester Lyons. surely let's hit uh, part one of that all right, let's head out to the uh, Pirate Radio live line and talk to a former ECU great Pirate Guard, Lester Lines, joining us today on Pirate Radio Live. Lester, how you doing, man? Good, good, good. Good to hear from you. Yes, sir. And uh, Marcus, you've been uh, lining up some awesome interviews, a lot of football interviews, but had a Lico dunk on last week and uh, going to talk more hoops with Lester Lines today. That's right, man. Lester, it's good to have you on here, man. And um just to let you know, I hope, I hope, first of all, I hope uh, things are going well out there in Charlotte. I think you're out there. Uh, but uh, good to have you on and join us um, here at Pirate Radio Live. And um, looking forward to talking to you, man. Yeah, things are well. Thank you. Lester, uh, I guess it, it, it's a, a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. You're uh, you're on the last ECU team to make it to the tournament, so that's cool to say. But on the flip side, we're about due, Lester, right? I mean, you watch it every March, and you hope the Pirates can make a run in a, a conference championship. They just haven't been able to do that, and it's, it's kind of crazy to think you were on that last tournament team, right? Yeah, that's kind of crazy to see that the program has been this long without. But I think that things are turning over, and I think it'll be it'll be soon that they'll be back in that tournament. Lester, I was here when, of course, when uh, when you guys went through that that transition and uh, making it to the tournament. Uh, man, I, I I do have to say that you guys were an inspiration to me because I actually um, was out for the season the year before uh, that or well, that same year, and then you guys uh, went on to uh, to make it to the tournament. But to to see you guys do what you did and have the uh, the the you know just the uh, tenacity and uh, to get through the conference championship and make it and um, the uh, camaraderie that you guys um, possessed as well as a team as a coaching staff uh, for those those guys as well. Um, it, it just helped me to kind of motivate me to get back on the football field and uh, do what you guys did, man. So I appreciate the motivation. I appreciate what you did for the Pirates. Yeah, I thank you. But I, but I think we got to reverse that because <laughs> basketball then during that time, we we got our motivation from football and the other sports because everybody was winning during that time. And it made us kind of push because we wanted to win just like every other program was. I think football was winning quite a bit, going to bowl games and basketball. We needed to make a change, so that kind of inspired us. 
Lester Lyons joining us. So, Lester, uh, it's not like you guys ran through that regular season. Uh, you entered uh, conference play there, four and ten uh, in the conference tournament, thirteen and seventeen overall. So, what do you remember about that trip? Was was the tournament uh, in Richmond at that time, Lester? What do you remember about making that run and uh, and how that whole thing went? Yeah, in the CAA tournament that year, um, we had a lot of good teams. I think um, James Madison and and Old Dominion were ranked at one time. Um, and we lost a lot of close, close games that year in overtime. Um, I think the seventh seed was a good seed with it for us because we had played, uh, which the two seed was Old Dominion, and we had played them close a couple of times that year. And I think, you know, the third time was a charm to get to play them in the first round, and we upset them. Um, the second round game against UNC Wilmington was a pretty even matchup. We were always even with them. And we were able to come out on top. And then the championship game, it was just we had to gut it out one more time. And you did uh, against James Madison. What a run to make it to the NCAA tournament. And then Lester, uh, you, you, there on Selection Sunday, you see who you're going to play, and you get the North Carolina Tar Heels uh, in the state of North Carolina playing in Winston-Salem. So, man, what was that feeling like uh, when you saw your opponent for the tournament? Well, we knew we were going to be um, – matched up against a pretty good team, whether it be in the east bracket, the south or the west. Um, getting to draw the number one team in the country, um, being from North Carolina, and it was big for us, man. I mean, you know, you get to play on that stage. And we were lucky enough to, to get to play in our home state so family and friends were able to make it. Um, it was a big stage. And, you know, we were we were ready to play no matter who we played. Um we knew we had a big task in front of us, but it was great to get to play the Tar Heels in North Carolina. Absolutely, man. Um, Lester, when we talk about um, sports and athletics, um, consistency with great players, there, there's a, a tremendous amount of, uh, one, pressure to perform. Uh, but uh, when you do it over and over again, uh, that produces greatness, and that, that pretty much uh, makes a statement or you set a staple for yourself as far as uh, being one of the elite players in your position or your sport, whatever it may be. Uh, you were four-time, uh, I think you still are, the only player to lead the team in scoring four times in a row, uh, consecutive seasons, that is. Uh, what was it like for you when, as you start to pile up the numbers uh, on the offensive end and uh, going through that process? What was it like for you uh, being in that spotlight? Well, I think it was, you know, more – my mom was – a basketball coach so it was the work ethic the the days in the gym uh the stuff that people don't really see that kind of gets you to to go into a, a a daily grind i would say and just to be able to grind it out and, and then be able to perform when you get the opportunity and, and you get in the spotlight to uh be able to go back to the things you you did every day in practice and training um to get you through it um you know, it's a good accomplishment to be able to 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 be a part of something that's winning, and then to be able to to have the stats to back it up. Now, now to to do it on the offensive side, you also exerted that same energy on the defensive side. You were named um, defensive player, uh, one of the all time uh, all team defensive players as well. Uh, take us through that process and, and what it's like to, to be not only one of the top scorers on the team, but uh, very well defensively as well. Well, I take the defense. I'm going to take that back to the offense as well because if you get a stop or a steal, you get a chance to get an easy basket. And I wanted to score, man, so I played defense so I could score. <laughs> so, it kind of went hand in hand. But, yeah, you do have to work, um, I mean, defensively, um, because whoever has the ball has the opportunity to score, and we wanted to take teams out of being able to score and to be able to get more shots up than they do, to have more chances to get more points than they did. So, yeah, I kind of, you know, my focus was to be a, a, a best all-around player that I could be, and we, I used defense to fuel my offense. Lester Lyons joining us. How about this, Marcus? Ninth all-time in blocks in ECU history. Man. <laughs> For our guard. <laughs> and Lester, uh, man, you, you you said, well, I mean, records are meant to be broken, they say, but you're 235 steals. That's going to be hard to touch. Uh, nobody has come close to that uh, since you left. You're also second in points still, uh, all-time at ECU, first in steals. But 
Um, I, I know one that you left ECU as the all-time three-point leader. Uh, that has been surpassed a lot of times because the way the game's played now, <laughs> Lester, if you played in 2023 rather than 1993, um, you know, how would your game be different? How, how much more would you have shot from the outside? And, and kind of just what do you think about the changes in basketball, the way it's played now? Yeah, yeah, the game has, has progressed so much into more of a three-point shooting game. And um, they play a lot faster than we play. Um, you know, we, we started out with like a 45-second shot clock at um, – I know one year we played, we ran the whole thing down, so we, we didn't even take shots. Um, um, but, yeah, it would be – it would, for me, I think I would be – definitely score a lot more points um, because I was shooting threes during that time, um, but just not as many. Um, and then with the pace of the game picking up, also it would have been a lot more opportunities to get, to get baskets. Um, we had a decent three-point shooting team at, at, at times – and I know all of those guys had a green light. <laughs> so, yeah, we would have a lot more points than we did, definitely. Lester, do you like the way it's played now? Sometimes you hear older uh, former players say that, yeah, I, I hear the phrase Steph Curry ruined basketball because of how he shoots, and now everybody, kids want to stand out there, NBA range, and shoot threes. That, what, what are the pros and cons of the, the way the game is played now, in your opinion? What do you think when you watch a game? Well, you know, it kind of takes a lot away from the bigs. But me not being a big man, I, I mean, I love the way it's played now because the guards get a lot of free reign. They play a lot of pick and roll. They get to take shots that we normally wouldn't be consistent with taking. It's not a high percentage shot, but if you can shoot like Steph Curry, you can take any shot you want to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, but, yeah, I think the game its taken away from the bigs now more so than yeah. the guard play. So, so as you look at that, um, in regards to Steph Curry, and uh, you get, there's a lot of debating about uh, basketball in any sport that is, uh, but people uh, compare who has had the most uh, impact on basketball, Steph Curry or Michael Jordan, and uh, that's been a, a a word on the street, so to speak, in in regards to um, the impact. Who who do you think has had the most impact on the world, so to speak, of basketball? Well, I think you got to go um, with Michael Jordan because at that time, and and the time, even times after that, everybody wanted to be like Mike. I mean, it transcended the game, um, even taking it, you know, into endorsements and everything. Um, Steph Curry's his 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 mark on the game is is just as big because he he made the three point shooting so much more important. But you got to think about uh, Michael Jordan. And, Everybody wanted to be Mike. Would be like Mike. We had a, this discussion in the previous chat, Marcus, about the Dream Team and basketball going global, and you see right. the impact on that now with Luca and Jokic and all that. And uh, I actually watched um, the Last Dance for the second or third time. I was watching one of those episodes last night, and it was the Dream Team episode. And it is amazing how recognized he was all over the world, and not just here in the states and and that it was an interesting question because it, it's kind of different answers depending on how you ask the question if you who had the biggest impact on how the games play currently it's definitely steph curry but then at the end you said who's had the biggest impact in the world and and you got to go mj there i yeah. would think right and and i think uh steph has um i think he has a big impact just because of the way not not that he just shoots three-pointers because you have a lot of guys that ray allen um reggie miller a lot of guys shot the three-pointer very well, right? But the way he does it, man, like he's crossing over, step back, three-pointer, and it's just uh, just a tremendous effect on the game. And uh, the way he does it, I think, is, has been the most impactful. Right. impactful. He does He does have um, – he plays point guard, and he has a ball in his hands a lot. And he has the ability to get his shot off the dribble and off the catch and shoot. So it makes it almost intimidating to guard him because he can, he can dribble – and maneuver um, to get to where he want to get to and get into his spots and get into his shot, which a lot of the known three-point shooters were more basically catch-and-shoot guys. Lester Lyons joining us, Marcus Crandall as well, part one of our interview that we had with the Pirate Great, and you'll hear more coming up in just a moment here on Pirate Radio Live. But right now, Shirley Rhodes, let's open up the booty bag. 
Booty, 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 booty everywhere. Booty, 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 booty everywhere. All right, 317-1250 is the number. And Shirley, what are we giving away today? How about a $10 gift card to Familia? Man, pizza of the week, just 12 bucks This week, it's the bacon and onion. Onion! And it looks great. You can, uh, if you get a $10 gift card, you're paying two bucks for a large pizza. All right, 317-1250, the number. What caller are we looking for? I'm going to go with, uh, let's go caller seven. Caller seven is a winner, 317-1250. We're back, more Marcus Crandall and Lester Lyons when we return after this. Hey, Troy D here with my good friend Kelvin Rawls from Pest Tech. Kelvin, I just want to thank you and Chris and all the great folks at Pest Tech for such awesome service. You totally eliminated the mosquitoes in my backyard, plus the fire ant problem I was having in the yard. Hey, you're certainly welcome, Troy. I have heard the same thing from all of our customers. With everyone being home, they want to enjoy the outside and being mosquito, fire ant, and pest free. Enjoy all your property from the kitchen to the curb. Visit PestTechOfGreenville.com today for complete service. What's up there, Pirate Nation? Kyle Gaines here from Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram here in Washington, North Carolina. This just came in, just announced 10% off MSRP on all 23 Ram Bighorns. That's right, huge savings, 10% off window sticker on these 23 Bighorns. And it is that time of year, it is Wrangler season. We have a huge selection of Jeep Wranglers, Gladiators, soft top, hard tops. So come check us out here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Remember, drive a little, save a lot. Go Pirates. Hey, Pirate Nation, Lindsey Gray here with Carolina Caliber. In 1960, my granddaddy started his firearm business right here in Eastern NC. Still family-owned and operated, we have the area's largest selection for outdoor shooting sports and accessories and are one of the nation's top firearm dealers. At Carolina Caliber, we have everything you need from hunting, home defense, and personal protection, including a wide variety for ladies and youth. We buy, sell, and trade. It's a time-honored tradition. Visit us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winter. 50 years ago, Honda released the Elsinore, a purpose-built motocross bike that redefined the sport. And Red Riders have been racking up wins ever since. That winning legacy continues today with the new CRF450R, available at Ron Ayers Motorsports. The 2023 450R produces even more low and mid-range torque for faster corner exits. The updated chassis optimizes suspension, performance, and improves handling. And that's just the beginning, because Honda is also releasing a limited edition 450R decked out in historical design. It sports a blue seat, gold wheels, forks and handlebars, commemorative graphics, and more. Then there's the CRF 450RWE. This works edition model gets the same 450R updates plus a slew of performance extras. Choose your new Honda CRF 450R model at Ron Ayers Motorsports Highway 11, north of the airport in Greenville. After all, you've got a legacy to write. CRF 450R models are intended for close course operation only. My whole business just went up in flames, but my agent was there before the fire was out. We started a plan. I've got 25 employees who could be out of a job if we didn't get this place running again. My independent agent and auto owner's insurance, they made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. That's incredible. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. This is Jeff Gibson with Town Insurance in Greenville. Call me today at 756-8300. Go Pirates! You've worked hard to make your business successful, and that's why it's really important to always have a bank that's in your corner when you need them. This is Chris Richards from First Bank, and our experienced team of local bankers includes Lee Watson, Ashley Capps, Bonner Latham, Josh Hooten, and Heath Nisbet. To get the business services that are right for your business, come and see one of our experienced team members at First Bank on Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. First Bank, together with our customers, we're creating a world where individuals and communities thrive. Member FDIC. Cuckoo's Sports Bar and Restaurant, located in the Old Professor of Cools location, has daily lunch specials from 11 to 5, including their famous $1 wing special, Monday through Wednesday, all day long. Cuckoo's has entertainment every Tuesday with Country Western Night and karaoke on Thursday, starting at 8. Take advantage of their weekly fresh fruit margarita specials and be sure to try the best Philly ribeye steak rolls in town while you're at it. Cuckoo's Sports Bar and Restaurant, Greenville's Diamond in the Rough. Check them out on Facebook for more information. Go Pirates! This is CJ Mayhew, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. (laughs) 
You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Brown and Wood is your home of the best selection of GMC, Cadillac, Buick, and Mazda in eastern North Carolina since 1937. You can shop their entire inventory online at brownandwoodauto.com or visit them on Greenville Boulevard. Brown and Wood, Greenville's number one dealership and the home of the Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. And congratulations to Will James of Greenville. Picked up a $10 gift card to Familia. Familia is your place for great Italian food, whether it's great uh, New York-style pizzas, homemade meatballs, lasagna, chicken parm, or the delicious homemade desserts. Familia is a winning play every time. For dine-in or takeout, make Familia your go-to play when you have a hungry team. Familia on Fire Tower Road near Pitt Community College. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you on Pirate Radio Live here on a Thursday. Cliff Brock, Shirley Rhodes, Chandler Honeycutt, intern Joey, J-O-W-I, joining us on the show today. And we played a moment ago. Uh, part one of our chat with the great Lester Lines and Marcus Crandall. Let's hear more of that right now. Shirley Rhodes. Who are your favorite guys to watch play currently, Lester, when you turn a game on? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I got to go with the, the consensus. I, I like LeBron, and I like Steph, and I, I like I like uh, the Greek freak Giannis Acapatupo. Yeah. All right. We've um, <laughs> we've talked about having a LeBron bait debate uh, over the last few weeks here. Um, <laughs> what makes you like LeBron in regards to you know all the um, you know all, he, he catches a lot of flack about uh, his game and the, the impact that he's had in regards to building the super team. That that's what I think most of the um, non LeBron or LeBron haters come from. Yeah. He's he's been on a lot of teams that's that's had um, top 100 players or either another superstar on the team with him. Um, but to play, man, under the kind of pressure that he plays under, I think they they've been following this kid around with a camera ever since he was 12 years old, and to have the career that he's had, I think there's some things that's outside of basketball that makes LeBron special. I always go back to that. He's on the cover of Sports Illustrated in high school, King James, and they're talking about a 17-year-old or whatever, and he's never got in trouble, never had any off-the-court stuff. It's pretty incredible to be a star from that young, and you see all these uh, kid actors in Hollywood, right, Marcus, and they go down the wrong path because they just can't handle it, and LeBron has always been able to, to handle it. I, we've had the discussion a little bit. I I didn't like the teaming up and the uh, taking my talents to South Beach and all that, but mostly because I, I root for the underdog, and at that point, he was not an underdog anymore. He was right. the... He was the man, but uh, no doubt what he's done, you know, off the court and and on the court. I think a lot of it too, and I'm glad to hear Lester say he, he likes LeBron. I think a lot of it is people my age or you know our age that think Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time and don't want to say anybody else is. I think that's part of the LeBron hatred too. Yeah. Is people my age saying no? There's only one goat, and that's Michael Jordan. I think he gets a lot of flag that way. You're gonna always have those comparisons, but when people start comparing you to Michael Jordan, <laughs> it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some love hate because there's people gonna take sides, and and that tradition of the old school game, they just played different, and and it was a tougher time, or the comp- competition was different, or whatever. But I, I, I still. I'm in that era, too, where I go with Mike, but I said, I mean, watching now, I just like LeBron because he's able to do it um, at, a, at an older age, and he's been through those 20 years of being in the league and, and where he came from and all of that. 20, 20 years, man, and that's, uh, crazy. that's a long time, and especially to be playing the way he's playing, right, at the end of his right. career, towards the end of his career. Got a kid playing at USC this upcoming year. <laughs> man, it, it, absolutely, right? But um, when you look at his game, um, Lester, people will say, man, he couldn't have played back in those times when Jordan uh-huh. played. But what what are your thoughts about that, man? You got a guy that's 6'8 and 200 and whatever, how many ever pounds, but he, he's a... He, he was a, he was a gifted physical specimen from the beginning. I think he, that body, he could play in any league. He could have played tight end football. Right. Um, but yeah, he he uh, he would have been a difference 
to the game because you go back to he's magic size and and you know, and he plays pretty much the same way, but a little, I think he's a little bit more stronger or not as finessed as as Magic was. I hate those conversations, Marcus. I saw and look, th- this is just some guy on Twitter, some no name, but it gets out there and everybody pounces on it. I saw this week Michael Jordan couldn't play in today's NBA. He wouldn't be a superstar. I mean, it's just asinine. It's just people right. putting out stuff to get attention. LeBron could play in any era. Jordan could play. If you're good at basketball, you're good at basketball. I mean, Lester talked about how he would adjust his game to the modern game. You adjust to, to what's I, going on. I think on. that's the most important thing. Guys yeah. are able to adjust because you've seen him. He's one of the uh, elite players that has done that. He's He was back when uh, KD and uh, sorry, with um, uh, Ray Allen and Paul Pierce and all those guys yeah. when they first came when he first came into the league and he played a very similar style and so he had to adjust his game to adapt to the way the game is playing today and he made made it to the uh, Western Finals. Right. Lester Lyons joining us on the Pirate Radio Live Line and Lester, uh, what was it like being honored uh, inducted into the ECU Hall of Fame uh, after all those years playing on the court? That was uh, induction in two, 2018. What was that like for you? Yeah, it's a great honor. I mean, it's a great compliment to go along with, the, you know, the years that, that I put in there. Um, it kind of complements my legacy. Um, it's something good to have happen for my family and my community, coaches and community and stuff. Lester, what was your uh, post-ECU basketball career? Did you play any professional basketball anywhere? And, and uh, what else did you do in your, your basketball life after East Carolina? Yeah, after ECU, I did play um, a total of eight years overseas. I started in Ireland and the uh, England Budweiser Super League. Played a couple of years in Germany and Turkey. I ended up in Lithuania when I had a career-ending knee injury. Um, after that, I came home to North Carolina, and I had a coaching stint at, at um, Greenfield private school in Wilson, North Carolina, and I also coached at my alma mater, Bertie High, for a few years. So what was that like for you, man, coming back home and uh, being able to give back that way to your people that followed you pretty much growing up um, and and coming back and um, now them supporting you in the coaching realm? uh, What was it like for you to be able to give back to your your peers and, and the people that helped support it was it was definitely a, a different experience for me because I I come from the playing side and uh, it was diff, different being a coach. Um, I love to you know to, to give back to the to the game because that's where I came from. This just the love of the game. Um, it's good to see people that come out and support though in the same way as they did when I was a player. Lester, uh, what's it like playing professionally overseas? I mean, you're getting paid to play basketball. That's awesome, but you're also kind of a fish out of water, right, with the the languages, the food, the culture, everything. So what was that like uh, adjusting to, to being a pro basketball player over there? Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little different. I mean, you know, basketball kind of takes precedence, and you really don't think about a lot of the other stuff. But, when you you know, it's, there, there's no – food that you're used to, you know, fast food, like, you know, your McDonald's and your, 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 your restaurants. But, um, that was big. And then there's a, there's a thing with communication because you have, have to have somebody that can speak the language or you have a, uh, interpreter with you to be able to tell you what somebody said. Um, it's a little tough, but I mean, if, 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 you know, if being from the States, Everything is, is is a lot easier. With <laughs> <laughs> the culture man, shock, man. The the diet is very important to an athlete, uh, last year. Yeah. So how how was it, man? In regards to uh, being able to make sure your body um, is is getting the right fuel to to perform out there on the court. Well, I kind of you know took care of that a lot on my own. So uh, I kind of watched what I ate and was able to be able to to go to markets and purchase the the vegetables and the fruits um, that I needed to to sustain. I mean, I didn't get to to, to eat um, full course <laughs> meals, but I was able to put together something to sustain me while through the course of a season um, and be able to train just enough to stay in, in shape and to be able to have something to, to sustain me while I was there. 
Marcus, I don't know. We might have brought this up, but, you know, Canada, very similar to the United States. But yeah. there are those French-Canadian areas and things. Like, did you have any issues up there in Canada with cultures and languages, things like that? Yeah, language, when you go over to Quebec, uh, it, it's predominantly French-speaking people. Yeah. And um, so when you go to the restaurant, everything is in French. And and so... <laughs> you did you learn kinda, enough to kinda, get by, or did uh, you just point at things? Kind of <laughs> point it. Yes, <laughs> yeah, the pictures, of course, the photographic is, uh, is awesome. Uh, but there, there are some that had both, right? And so uh, we kind of naturally adapted or, right. or, or navigate or migrated to the ones that um, that we knew that had both languages on there, and uh, that's pretty much where we ate most of the time. Or you go to McDonald's and you know, just like uh, man, it, it's it's pretty funny that yeah. that we say McDonald's. But uh, there's a guy in the CFL who who lived off of McDonald's and <laughs> was a, a CFL All Star on a consecutive basis. But uh, you, you find what uh, what works for you, um, and then you pretty much it's just like human nature, man. You go with what's what's comfortable, right? Yeah. For the most part. Lester, uh, man, it was great to see Joe Dooley back at East Carolina coaching where he once coached, but uh, that now he is at Kansas and, and winning, and uh, we're happy for him there. But uh, I know it was cool to see uh, you know your old coach back. Uh, unfortunately, didn't work out here, and now Mike Schwartz is in. So how much do you, you kind of keep up? I'm sure you kept up when, uh, when Coach Dooley was here, but how much do you keep up with what the Pirates are doing now? You said you think they're heading in the right direction here with Coach Schwartz. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I keep up with um, Coach Dooley. You know, you think about it. He he was at ECU three different times. Um, he was my um, assistant coach during the Eddie Payne era, um, and then he came back to coach uh, after Eddie, and then he got a, another stint at, at ECU. Unfortunately, you know, we had to make break ways. Um, but yeah, I like Joe Dooley. He was my guy, um, and I think yeah, the program now with Coach Schwartz. I mean, ECU. I mean, if we're gonna move into um, new conference, um, I think that that would really help us a lot. But that league we play in now is a tough, tough league. Um, with Houston being in the Final Four the last two years, and you got a great Memphis team, and there's some other tough, tough teams in that league. Yeah, even some of the new schools uh, had great postseason success last year. And you look at Florida Atlantic, Lester went all the way to the Final Four. They'll be. Uh, coming here to, to Minji's next season. So well, you've got Houston out, and you take a, a breath and then say, uh-oh, we got the, a Final Four team coming in. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And it's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's just been – that's the way it's been the last 20 years, I mean, since we were playing. Um, the Conference USA was tough. Yeah. And and the, the uh, American that we're in now is a really tough league. Lester, what would be your advice to give these young men um... – in regards to how to handle that, how to approach each season uh, as they see these top opponents coming on the schedule? Well, the league play is physical, so you got to be bigger, stronger, and faster. I mean, you got to work to 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 um, be able to match up with man for man, which which who, whichever team you're playing, to be able to compete. You you have to put that work in. Lester Lyons joining us. Marcus, anything else for Lester before we let him get out of here today? Man, again, just like I told uh, Aliko last week, um, Lester, man, I, I really appreciate it, uh, you guys, what you did for us. And uh, I really enjoy the time that we had watching you guys win those big games and uh, rushing, the, rushing the court. <laughs> and, uh, man, it, it was very exciting time, Sid, to be able to support you guys because um, you, you were uh, role models on the court, but you were also role models off the court. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was good. It was some fun times. It's always, you know, a good good time when you get to win. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Lester, uh, thank you for joining us, man, uh, and, and great to walk down memory lane, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again down the road. Thank you, guys, man. All right, there he is, Lester Lines and Marcus Crandall, just a couple of ECU Hall of Famers talking some hoops. Uh, we've got another recorded interview uh, that we've done uh, with Marcus with – Jarris McPhail, uh, former Pirate running back, uh, was with the Miami Dolphins, and uh, we'll run that interview either tomorrow or one day next week, and then Marcus will uh, rejoin us live soon, and we'll have more great conversations and more great interviews with former Pirates and uh, some of his coaches and, and teammates that he met along the way during his great career. All right, let's take a time out. We'll come back, update you on the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard presented by DeBuck. Also, 
little uh, College World Series preview. We'll look at some of those odds on uh, what Vegas uh, is saying will happen and who are the favorites in Omaha when the action begins on Friday. We'll have that and more for you as we roll on Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after this. The Wood Ducks are back in Kinston this week hosting the Kannapolis Cannonballers. Thirsty Thursday will be a doubleheader starting at 5 p.m. Come and enjoy $2 natural lights, bush lights, and peanuts. Join the Wood Ducks on Friday for post-game fireworks sponsored by WNCT Channel 9. And on Saturday, the first 1,000 fans will receive a Kinston Collar Green spatula sponsored by Ag Carolina Farm Credit. And on Sunday, bring your furry friend to the ballpark and enjoy dollar hot dogs sponsored by Riverbank Animal Hospital and Minute Maid Food Mart. Hope to see you at Granger Stadium all week long. Go Woodies! Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local and print it local with University Sportswear. University Sportswear is your one-stop shop to help promote your business and always provide superior customer service. No matter what apparel you need for your team or customers, University Sportswear can make it happen. Visit UniversitySportswearENC.com for contact information. University Sportswear, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. Go Pirates! For years, Callie Ann Phelps has been singing about Phelps Chevrolet. Phelps Chevrolet is the one for you. Low, low prices, service too. See the big dealer right away. Carolina's finest, Phelps Chevrolet. And you'll agree with what Skyler Phelps has to say. Nobody needs Phelps Chevrolet's prices. Nobody. The name you can depend on. Phelps Chevrolet. Get you one. East Coast Grading and Utilities is your source for clearing, hauling dirt, and concrete work. East Coast Grading and Utilities handles all sewer and water issues as well. I'm David Vaughn. Whether it's putting in a new subdivision or helping you with any and all of your drainage problems, I can get the job done. Call me at 531-7494. No job is too big or too small. East Coast Grading and Utilities. Friends helping friends. 531-7494. For East Coast Grading and utilities. The icy treat that can't be beat is Sparky Snowballs. From big kids to little kids, Sparky Snowballs has been making smiles happen for over 20 years. If you're not in the mood to chill out with a snowball, Sparky's funnel cakes and fried Oreos are a perfect Sparky-licious treat every time. Are you having an event, party, or fundraiser? Call Sparky's to come on site. Remember to follow Sparky's on Facebook or visit sparkysnowballs.com to see where they'll be next. We're here for the booty. RJ? Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. We're going play game! Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. This is Talbot Green with Integrity Home Mortgage. Are you ready and pre-approved if the home you want to purchase comes for sale today? Integrity Home Mortgage offers a wide variety of programs ranging from conventional, government, and portfolio loans, plus construction and lot loans. Our team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, and Joanne Weir offers over 50 years of experience. To get started, call me, Talbot Green, 714-2076. Talbot Green, NMLS, 120331. For informational purposes only, Integrity Home Mortgage Corporation is equal housing lender, NMLS, 208516. Wally's Two Kettle Corn in Winterville is where you can find the tastiest popcorn around. Make it a movie night at home with Wally's Two Kettle Corn. They have over 50 flavors to choose from including classics like cheddar, caramel, and my favorite, better butter. Or try their specialty flavors such as Chicago Style, Wintergreen Mix, and MJ's Cheesecake. Wally's Two also caters, so if you're hosting a party or event, satisfy your company with delicious popcorn. Check them out on Facebook or stop by and see Wally today on Fire Tower Road across from Sam Jones Barbecue. Wally's Two Kettle Corn. Make it a popping day. This is Coach Blake Defense Coordinator for East Carolina Football. And you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. 
Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots and get rid of unwanted hair? Are you interested in Botox or filler? Contact the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medispa on Red Banks Road in Greenville. Free consultations are available by calling 752-1406 or visiting beautybarmedispa.com. Enjoy your visit. Love your transformation. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right. You know, sometimes you got to know when to fold them. And know when to hold them. Yeah. Eric, and that's the problem with some of us who tell dumb jokes. You're always trying for that that one more laugh before you get out of here, you know? But Eric, the one more? Eric, uh, he tried to do one more. He said, much to the uh, dismay of Shirley, I have hundreds, if not thousands, of terrible jokes just waiting to be shared. I keep them all stored in my database. Dude. Dad a base. You are terrible! Dad a base. Dad a base. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get yeah. the cricket sound effect. Should have kept that one in the uh, in the holster there. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I do want to talk about the College World Series, which is coming up on Friday, beginning on Friday with a couple of games. So first up, it will be Oral Roberts and TCU, two o'clock Saturday or Friday rather on ESPN. Friday night, Virginia and Florida. Saturday, it'll be Wake and Stanford at 2, and then Tennessee and LSU. Looking at the odds, the favorite is Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons. Uh, Not too far behind them, the LSU Tigers. And then Chandler, third, as far as the betting odds go. Favorite to win the College World Series, a team we're very familiar with, the Virginia Cavaliers. Mm Mm-hmm third out of that group yeah i mean i i, I said this on the show uh, i think a week ago um about i wouldn't be surprised to see virginia this is even before the super regional so i was saying i wouldn't be surprised seeing virginia go on a run not just make it to omaha but to go on a run ro- uh, go on a run in omaha and make it to that finals to that series to that final series because that lineup that they have it's so spectacular, one through nine. They've got so many players in that lineup that can hit the, the that can hit the baseball well. They got several over three hundred. They got maybe two players that bat over four hundred. So when you have an offense like that, I think you have a chance to make a run. I think the Cavaliers can do so. So they are almost even uh, with Florida as far as the odds, but Virginia is fourth in the uh, pecking third in the pecking order. Florida right behind them. However, Florida is a favorite in the game against virginia tomorrow so figure that out uh but so florida and virginia kind of right there at three and four uh then the next team as far as best odds go are the volunteers of tennessee followed by tcu and then after that you've got stanford at plus 1000 and oral roberts plus 2000 so that's what the go eagles the betting odds uh say for the college world series go eagles go eagle so uh yeah i guess we're uh oral roberts fans coming up on uh we'll be watching that one during the show tomorrow channel yeah i have a little mini watch along i guess bring your uh your eagles wings and let them soar eagles wings is yeah. that a new restaurant in town? Do I need to go call them to advertise eagles wings yeah it's uh that sounds like a really good restaurant a wings like a wing spot yeah but we don't eat eagles do we you never had eagle wings? I've never Man, had an eagle. Delish. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of bird wing? You ever had an ostrich? No. Ever had a pelican wing? A pelican leg? Flamingo. Flamingo leg would be good to eat on. Not much meat. No. Not you much kinda meat. You kind of nibble on it. <laughs> it's like, like a pixie stick. That's probably the worst bird I could have said. A flamingo with the skinniest legs. Some fried flamingo legs Ooh. would be good tonight maybe marinate it in something yeah barbecue flamingo legs i don't know about that one i'm not too sure about that <laughs> y'all aren't one. doing that down in the uh puerto rico flamingo down in no. the puerto rico definitely not down in the pr down in the pr 
well surely maybe i'm watching my figure you ever thought of that whoa you ever think of that you probably didn't because i'm not um college world series lines all right now the buccaneer music hall leaderboard presented by dub buck dub buck we got a two-way tie at the top xander shoffley and ricky fowler at eight under par and then there's a group tied behind them with three under scotty scheffler bryson dechambeau sw kim and some guy named bar john bar john um dechambeau uh, i remember a few weeks ago the last major there was yeah uh, seeing DeChambeau's name on the leader leaderboard yeah. was weird, and it's still weird to see him on the leaderboard. PGA Championship, um, even though second place right now with about four or five, probably more than that, tied for second. Uh, the two leaders at the top are uh, ahead five strokes at eight under. All right. Um, by the way, Todd, remember Todd? Todd, 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 Todd. came in and picked up a prize. Uh, yesterday, so I uh, got to hand him 24 Budweiser's. I had a miss Todd. Uh, he says, I'm betting on TCU. He's taking Is the it? Horn Frogs. Oh, wow. So frogs. I'm okay with the winner of that Oral Roberts TCU game doing something in the tournament. Uh, Robert was talking about our, our basketball chat with Lester Lyons. He says, Yes, old school caught and shot. Nowadays, catch, dribble, stop take two steps backwards yes i'm old uh get off my lawn guy <laughs> why did he yell to take two steps backwards take two steps backwards catch dribble step take two steps backwards he's not wrong however i don't he, he here's the lebron uh take uh, from robert he flops like he's 140 pounds i've never seen mj tell the referee that guy in the third row hurt my feelings have him removed so look i get it i I told lester there's people that are gonna be uh, mj is the goat guy forever Mm -hmm. how about you young joey who's the greatest of all time king james (laughs) lebron james you know how many uh uh, pirate fans my age and older you are absolutely pissing off right now saying that and i they are furious and I have to be honest with you, I don't apologize. I'm a youngin'. And Stand by. What I've seen. Yeah. You can only lifetime. go by what you've seen exactly. with your eyes. And I have sat down. You know what? I, I, I always have to argue with my father because we always do this argument. He's big MJ. I'm big Jordan. He's like, you've never even watched the game. So for the sake of the argument, I sat down and watched the... The Last Dance? No, not the Last Dance. Uh, actually, another thing that's going to probably take a couple people off, I got to about episode three and some change and i just (laughs) this guy man this guy's getting look i'm 20 i'm 24 but i have an old soul i mean you're like a 63 year old man inside that body (laughs) but look and i never watched michael jordan play i just finished last dance for the second time michael jordan man michael michael jordan now wait michael. wait till lebron gets his 10 part series that comes out every <laughs> saturday on espn i did say and i promise it's gonna be a lot more quality because one camera quality the whole different crew and apparently he's had somebody following him the entirety of his i career. saw that he had the same people or kind of like the same producers of the last dance following him around so brian windhorse has been following him around for 30 years brian windhorse <laughs> Now, why do you say that? <laughs> now, why do they say that? He got a job because he was like, he knew LeBron James. Like, his whole career is based on LeBron James. Not that I hate him for it. I always said that I, you know, when well, I was... If I knew LeBron, I would try to find a way to monetize it, too. Heck, yeah. I, I'm not going to hate him uh, for it. I, I'm, I'm really upset that none of my friends from high school... Like made it super big, so yeah. I could just tag along with him <laughs> and not have to do anything my damn self. Yeah. So like, screw those guys, <laughs> losers. Going back to college baseball World Series coming up this weekend. Robert says I'm pulling for LSU. The fattest players. I'm with you there, Robert. <laughs> They've got some fatties that can hit Break. and some fatties that can pitch, and I am team fatty. So uh, yeah, I got a soft spot in my. Uh, heart that is clogged for LSU and their fat players. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change fat. your name to the LSU Hosses. That's clever, man. Did you Hoss. just cook that one up? LSU Hoss. Are you been working on that one? Has that been in the crock pot or was that like a flash fry? Or should they be the LSU Cartwrights? 
Haas Cartwright. All right, old man. It's <laughs> past your bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> we got to take our final break. Chandler's got to go to bed. Jamie's had ostrich jerky. Said it tasted like chicken. I hate that argument with foods where it's like, it tastes like chicken. Well, just eat chicken. Why are you eating all this crazy crap? Uh, Jamie's going TCU against Wake in the championship. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I got Florida in the whole thing. Go Gator. Go Gator. Hit the Gators get them. All right. Hit it, Shirley. Go Gator. Gator bait. <laughs> Take a time out. Come back. Wrap up Pirate Radio Live after this. Here at Brown and Wood with Jeff Stein. It's summertime, and uh, Jeff, you guys have a new car wash. We do. We put in a brand new car wash just for the customer. So when you come in, get your vehicle serviced, we wash, dry, vacuum your car for free. It's state-of-the-art, but free to the customer. And this summer, you have an AC special. It's summertime. Air conditioning units are breaking left and right. But guess what? At Brown and Wood, all summer, I have free diagnostics on all air conditioning issues only at Brown and Wood. Did you know that it's illegal to dig without first calling 811? 811 is a free program that locates underground utilities, marking them with flags and paint lines so you know where not to dig. Accidentally digging into utility lines interrupts service and could seriously hurt you or someone else. If you know someone who's planning to dig, encourage them to call 811 at least three full working days before they dig. 811 is free, it's safe, and it's the law. This message is brought to you by Greenville Utilities and this station. With U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. So you don't need that robot daughter you built to get a fourth line for family plan pricing. Oh, Rope Elizabeth? She's not going to like that. The robots will prevail. Oh, boy. Get the low rate of $29.99 per line. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 1997. Visit Atlantic wireless.com to find the store near you we go beyond the call with over 30 locations across north carolina and southeastern virginia quality equipment is your local john deere dealer where you'll find everything you need for your next project our complete lineup of john deere lawn and garden agricultural and commercial worksite equipment comes with years of experience expertise and dedication we know what it takes to get it done right Stop by today or visit us online at qualityequip.com. Upgrade your comfort right now during Bostick Sug Furniture's Summer in Motion event. Need to relax, recline, and unwind? Now at Bostick Sug, enjoy savings on all our top furniture brands. Plus, for a limited time, when you buy any recliner, lift chair, or reclining sofa or sectional, you'll get a second reclining furniture item at 40% off. With over 400 items in stock plus special savings on custom orders, relaxation has never been so easy. The Summer in Motion event on now at Bostick Sug Furniture. Chico! Chico's Mexican Restaurant is for the fiesta that never ends. Grab your amigos and head to Chico's every Wednesday for shrimp tacos for only $9.99. Plus, Wednesdays means all Mexican imports for just $2.99. Thursdays, enjoy your favorite beef, chicken, or vegetable fajitas for only $9.99. For Mexican food and fun, it's got to be Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville and online at chicosrestaurant.com. Chico's, where the fiesta never ends. For the latest from the world of golf, Tune in every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 for the Golf Shop Radio Show. Presented by PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com, the golf capital of the world. Hosts Mark Greenhelch and Matt Blanchard talk golf from tee to green and everything in between. If you like golf, you're going to love Golf Shop Radio. Before you tee up, drop on in. Welcome to the Golf Shop. Well... If it isn't the Pirate Captain. Pirate Radio. The beer's looking great, my man. The voice of the Pirate Nation. (laughs) 
You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. It was a good day for the market. The Dow was up 428 points and closed at 34,408. The NASDAQ was up 156 points at 13,782, and the S&P was up 53 at 4,425. That's your Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Report. For a personal look into investing, call Wells Fargo Advisors today at 756-6900 in Greenville. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC, member SIPC. Now let's back into the show. Here's Flip. We're going to back into let's the back show. back into the show. Yeah, let's just, you know, back that fat truck up. <laughs> back just it on up. Back it up. I'm going to ask beep, you about beep, that tomorrow, beep. by the way, so be ready. Uh, okay. Intern Joey, great job. Second day in a row running the entire show, video production, thank you, which thank allowed you. Chandler today to co-host the show, go to a meeting, quote tweet interviews, participate in the game, kind of letting you roam be the rover and it felt so good by the way i mean i and i actually had confidence when i left today i was like you know what joey's got this and he had it and you, you did a great job man i'm serious thank you thank great you. job you're learning fast and, and you're very eager to learn too which yes, is awesome sir. looking forward to learn more too back with you on friday on pirate radio live three o'clock and we'll have a fun show for you then for shirley rhodes Chandler Honeycutt, intern Joey, the crew here at Pirate Radio. I am Clip Rock. Jeff Charles, take us home. Have a great night, Eastern Carolina. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 and 95.